Hey everybody, welcome to a Clickstaff Hero Clips Strategy and Tactics video. This is your host, Daniel Powell, speaking. And I got two of our hosts joining me tonight. And that is, first of all, Tyler. I don't know when the last time he had Chipotle is Spees. It's been a minute. It's been a few days. I'm due. Yeah. And then Alex. Did you buy a zero turn yet, Coos? No, definitely not. Those things are expensive, man. Yeah. I yeah. got Rise and Fall to save for. That's right. Ooh. So uh, this is not a podcast. This is a Hero Click strategy and tactics video. So we'll keep it to the point. Uh, and then we'll talk about our antics on the podcast later this week <laughs> or later, I guess, early next week at this point because today's Saturday. So uh, there is a new tactic and strategy to use that is being released with the Rise and Fall set. And that is, well, I guess it's not new necessarily. It's uh, being continued with this set. And um, that is the... Uh, form the new Fantastic Four, uh, but it is with um, the X-Men version. Uh, two folks can do that in this new set, uh, Magneto and Professor X. So the purpose of today's video is to talk about Magneto and Professor X and uh, talk about what they do and how they can be used and if they can be used. I guess, right? I mean, it's a, it's a how and a, and an if. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what are our thoughts on this? Um, you know, does the math work out on some of these things um, for it to be good? Um, so uh, the guys are looking at the Roll20 screen that you see here. I have a couple of different tabs open up on my browser. Uh, I have the Realms unit section, the... Uh, evidence thread for rise and fall i have uh, the cool poster i don't need the poster anymore um and then we've got the all of the dials so i think we'll start out first with our uh disclaimer uh, real quick is that we uh, i guess it's a two-part first of all uh this is um designed for competitive play um we are we love all hero clicks for casual play Unfortunately, some of them don't make the cut, so these are our views and opinions for competitive hero clicks play. I don't um, love all hero clicks for casual play. Just don't, uh, the, don't put my name on that. Right. Yeah, just, <laughs> whatever. The, you like more hero clicks for casual play than you do uh, competitive play. Uh huh. Right. So um, I am a firm believer that in all hero clicks are created equal for casual play. <laughs> Um, they are all casually fun. Anyways, that's disclaimer number one. Disclaimer number two, uh, I have the poster up here with the uh, renderings for the new set. There are some figures that have not been previewed that could make a splash on this team. Um, however, that is to be seen. So we are recording this fairly um, close to the pre uh, release of Magneto and Professor X Dial. So... Um, let's go over Magneto first. Is there anything y'all want to add before we dive in? Well, do we um, want to talk? Do we want to mention the the five figures that we don't know? Uh, real quick? sure. What are the five figures we don't know, Alex? We do not know the Beast Rare Non Prime. We have Dark Beast. We don't know Rare, rare Beast that I'm aware of. We don't know Super Rare Angel. We don't know Super Rare Prime Gladiator. And then we don't know the two chases, Diamond Patch and Herbert Blackheart Windham, which Herbert is obviously most likely going to be Hellfire based because of Blackheart, so he could have something it's with Diamond that. Diamond Patch. Diamond Patch. It's Emma and Wolverine. Yeah. So, oh. yeah, Why Patch? So, uh, Patch is, oh man, he's a thing. If you haven't played Marvel Puzzle Quest, he's a <laughs> version of Wolverine like that oh. has an eye patch. I don't know the story behind it. I just know him from okay. Marvel Puzzle so Quest. But... Pretty much all five of those are going to be <laughs> relevant to this. Right. Four of them most likely relevant to X-Men because they're all X-Men based, like Gladiator, Shi'ar based, so which will fit in with Professor X. And then Blackheart will be most likely oh, Hellfire 
based. So at the time of recording this, we don't have those in there. So just keep in mind that uh, we might post something later. Uh, just a little, hey, this could be included. Or we are or putting just... this, we're putting this on our sideline. You know, we might post something like that if but, we, we say it's cool. But... but Alex, at the time of this recording, the Super Air Prime mimic is unknown. What? <laughs> Okay. So, is that a good response? Yeah. No. So oh, we, we will we will talk a little bit about Mimic. Uh, we are previewing Mimic. Uh, so the preview will already be live before this video. Uh, so we are including the uh, preview for Mimic in our discussion uh, revolving Professor X. Uh, so we'll hear mm -hmm, it a little mm -hmm. bit later. So um, I don't think that's a spoiler, right? I mean, I guess if you haven't seen the spoiler for Super Rare Prime Mimic at this point, uh, please check out clickstuff.com for the preview for Super Rare Prime Mimic. Uh, and thanks, WizKids, for giving us that preview. Um, so, the the other previews that we have, I have uh, some cool things to type up about them, but they are already dialed uh, already except, known at this point. So. Except he doesn't, he doesn't go in here, Tiny. What? He, go, he goes to yeah. Professor X. Real. Yeah. Oh, I'll you got it. You that, You definitely have that in the wrong screen. So, I'm on the post. The prime, right the prime, the super rare does go in here. Super rare is Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. So that's cool. Hey, so it's Brotherhood um, of Mutants. Don't don't put your moral judgment in there. Sorry, I was looking at the picture Jeez. that I posted. So are we? We're starting with Magneto. Is yeah, right? we're gonna start with Magneto. So um, is this Magneto? The figure is good enough to be played without his trait, right? He's so good for forty points. What what number is Magneto, by the way? Forty? Uh twenty seven. Twenty seven. Uncommon. Alright, so twenty seven. So let's talk about him real quick. Oh twenty seven Magneto, Team Hood, Brotherhood of Mutants. And I would just like to say that team ability helps in such clutch situations when I've been playing against that. Mm -hmm. So let's just say Magneto and the Brotherhood of Mutants is a playable team if the, with that team ability. So that's 10, 11, 12, remove an action token after resolutions. That's is very good, especially if you make multiple attacks a turn. That's right. Multiple attacks, free attacks, flurry attacks, all these different yeah, like things. On Magneto himself, it's almost worthless, but it's a good team ability to copy and use on your main attack. Right. All right. So six range, double bolts, forty points. Acolyte, Brotherhood of Mutants, Hellfire Club, sidestep, TK, leadership, four clicks, eighteen defense with energy shield deflection, and then friendly characters with a shared keyword and barrier. Uh, yeah, this power has barrier in it. Oh, okay, it didn't say that on realms, but okay. Um, it does. It does on the main part of realms, not the evidence. Piece. Oh, sorry, I'm on the evidence thread. So. Energy shield deflection, friendly characters with a shared keyword within range and line of fire can use energy shield deflection. So starting out with a beefy 18 defense and leadership. So he's 20 right. from range and then gives... He's just good enough without his trait. Like, it's 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 TK barrier leadership sidestep flyer for 40 points with good stats. Yeah. Like, yeah. he's really good. Right. So... Um... And then we start out with his trait, right? So this is what we're talking about. A recorder, recording, recruiting soldiers in the war force mutant supremacy. At the beginning of the game, you may replace up to five friendly characters with the same number of characters from your sidelines on their starting click. All replacement characters must have the Brotherhood of Mutants, Acolytes, or Hellfire Club keywords and different names. The total points of the replacement characters can't exceed the total points of the replaced character so it's reworded the same as the fantastic four version right it's just fantastic exactly four the same. fantastic four was only fantastic four but now magneto has three different um keyword options um so i would just like to say the first point of why this is good is once a theme team is established at during force construction it it's not broken at that point right so like a pog like if you just have a theme team you're not doing any of this swappy shit a pog can use one of your theme team probs yep so now you're building a theme and you can include say 
not so great piece or pieces that are your team's really flexible now because yeah. everything the theme is not broken so if you have a brotherhood of mutants team built here and then you need to swap in a bunch of hellfire club pieces you can still get the probs and at that point you've already rolled for map too so you get your theme team bonus for the map as well yeah the, because the problem with fantastic four when it came out was there was one not a lot of fantastic four and they didn't have that big of differences like all the mr fantastic fantastics were the same all the things were the same like there wasn't enough variation so yeah. fantastic four there were some minor changes you can make with black leopard and whatnot but there wasn't a ton it was kind of you had your set sideline that you would switch from whereas this it looks like because there's three keywords involved there's a lot more a lot yeah, a lot more options. And because we have a limited sideline, you have to make some key decisions on who you want on that sideline, especially in this instance with Hellfire Club, because some of those sideline uh, sideline is going to be taken. So Right, for Jason. And... But the yeah. key thing, one key thing about this trait is that all replacement and replaced characters have to have different names. That is the key thing. So you can't take five characters and all switch them to Dark Phoenix for whatever reason, or switch out like 40 different Magnetos. Like they have to have different names. And so this trait is very, I would say, convoluted a little bit. Like it's one that you look at and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. And then when you sit down to try to do it, you're like, hold on, wait, So how is this gonna work? <laughs> So would it be kind of maybe the first point here? I'll switch over to these uh, to the other screen here. So main force I see you have here, Alex. Would we want to include a single Dark Phoenix on the main force? I guess you've got it here. You've got it lined out your screen. Brotherhood of Mutants, Acolytes, and Hellfire. Hellfire. Club, right. So I guess mm -hmm. if you're talking about main force right you want to include the one dark phoenix because you might want to swap in the second dark phoenix right so keep in mind you want your main force has to be themed otherwise was the reason you're doing this so you have to either go all in on hellfire all in on brotherhood all in on acolytes uh, and for the I most part agree with you you could just play this guy in like a hundred points of these keywords on a non-theme team and it's great um like, it's so it gives you options on a non theme team. True. So if you because a lot of non theme teams run on Harry Leland, and there's a lot of matchups where true. you don't want Harry Leland, true. so you switch him out. True. And another thing about that that you want to keep in mind is we are probably covering a majority of switching out like three to four to five pieces. You can absolutely, like Tyler just said, play Magneto and switch out just one piece if you yeah. can find a because it's up to it can't exceed the total points. So if you start with a higher point like a 50 point character you could switch it with a 40 point a 30 point or whatever because mm -hmm. it's it just it'll that figure when it dies it'll count as a higher point replacement character but it it you could you have options you only have to choose one you could do just one will you it count do, as a higher point it's a replacement so yes okay when hold you replace on it, no no, no you, hold on i i agree with what you're saying but i listen so let's say hypothetically you have two 50 point figures and you switch them out for two 10 point figures Mm -hmm. If you kill a ten point figure, it'll count as fifty. No, no, count it, as... It, it won't count until both of them are KO. Right, right. Uh, we would have to look into that. Yeah, and like that's, what if... that's the way it worked for Uni. Yeah, it, it, it's no, 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 no. no. Point... You got, you got. No, hold on. How did it work for Uni? Because it still works the same. You. No, no, you were always guaranteed. Like, so if I just played Star Fox and Isaac, you had to KO both Star Fox and Isaac, but you ended up getting the 160 points that Uni was worth. So, so one key thing with this is you have to declare who is being replaced by who. Oh, you do? Yes, because you yes. are replacing five characters. Oh, right. okay. That could be annoying to keep track of. So you have to say, I am replacing this person with this person. And it, it and it's I assume that's what you have to do. I mean, you have to replace up to five characters with the same number of characters from your sidelines, and the total points. Say it. 
It doesn't explicitly say why. So but you're you have... doing one for one. Well, you, you replace up to five friendly characters. So if you just replace one, then you clearly replace one with the same sure. number. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking, like... And what if it's, like, clean... like if you replace two figures for, for 100 points, say, like, a 90-point and a 70-point, and then you bring in a 10-point and a 10-point, if you kill one 10-point... Well, one, it, 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 and I guess, you yeah, score? you're right, you're right. So, but whenever you replace something, you still say which... Eh, you know what, I guess I might have to look into that a little bit further. So I... It could be a could be a good way to like deny some points, but yeah, it'd be I, weird. There might be weird. I don't think it's any way. To, I don't think there's a way for it to help you win the game. Probably not. Like you're you're ye weird. you're yeeting out. I don't know. Dark Phoenix for. Uh, there's not a ten point one, so. Uh, multiple. I don't That's know. That's a like, good like, segue. Like, what is the cheapest switch out, Alex? Uh, multiple that we found? multiple man, right? Multiple man at ten. Yeah. Oh, that's great! Wait, no. Does he have no, uh, for Magneto? No, have... for um, okay, okay. For, time out. For, time out for Professor X, but yeah. time out per the rule book twenty one point twelve B. When one or more characters replace a character, and all of that character's replacement characters are KO'd, score victory points equal to the point value of the replaced character or the total point value of the KO'd replacement characters, whichever is greater. Well, right. But do you have to pick one for one? It doesn't. It, I mean, we're just I, assuming I, that. Right? Well, you do. I mean, this isn't one where you can replace one with two. It has to be the same characters, You're right. like the same amount. So you can't just take one and do it with two lesser points. It has to be one to one. Yeah. Um, when characters are replaced, the character on the map will be swapped with one or more characters from your sideline. That's the rules for replace replacing yeah. and re characters. So you have to switch one with another. It's not just I pick up these five characters and I randomly place down five characters, but I think it's something where maybe all five have to be KO'd before. That's trick. That is tricky. Right, yeah. But I do when think do you, you have to, you probably do have to keep that in mind because if I was going, I would want to know as your opponent which ones you're replacing with which. Right, because of scoring. Yeah, because I might go against, like, okay, I want that 10-point piece because I know it's actually worth 50. Yeah. Because it, the greater person was the replaced or the replacement figure. So, but you can't point deny. That's the key thing. You can't just be like, I have 200 points of figures. I am taking it down to 50, and that's it. It's, no, if you take out that 50, it's 200 points. There's well, no you point denial. you can point deny, right? I could no. say... I'm replacing this ten point multiple man. No, with the, if said a, like a hundred point juggernaut, then I would you'd always score the higher. Yes, they have okay. the, in the rules. It's <laughs> always the greater. Whichever one is greater, you score that one. So that's you could why definitely overscore then. Um, no, because the total points can't be more than the replaced. So you can't. So if you're replacing two hundred points of figures, you have to do at most at most two hundred points. Yeah, but. That doesn't matter because you always get the higher. So let's say I replace this 10-point character with a 90-point character and this 90-point character with a 10-point character. Each of those scored, I get 90 points on both. So I, I scored 180 points. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, that's a good one, man. We the should look this up before. We <laughs> should look this up beforehand. I didn't even think about it until right now. Was while we're good. while we're talking, I'll, I'll get to, I'll, I'll talk to the group and. Okay. Oh, I see, your, <laughs> yeah, I see what you're saying. You're yeah. That yeah. you always score higher, you're gonna overscore most likely. But right, but there's no way to like just say you this opponent will only score ten points. No, it's all it's always gonna be the advantage of the opponent. Right. Um. Anyway, so what is the cheapest Magneto option? Probably twenty five, I think. Yeah. That guard. Do you have anything lower than that? Yeah. Oh no, the um, Destiny is only twenty for the the Legacy card. Oh, that's, true. that's probably the cheapest. Mm. Okay, okay. So he is. It's his was probably a little bit harder to work with because having a ten point figure to use is it's very useful when math is involved. But twenty right, points is not bad. And that start out with good. at least right. I think. Mm -hmm. I think it makes more sense there. Yeah, I agree that you're always going to want to start with a um, Dark Phoenix because I can't imagine you switching out Dark Phoenix. Like, she's always going to be better than some option. 
Well, right? I guess I guess it just depends, right? If you can uh, swap out um, Dark Phoenix, you know, maybe against Batman Prime. Maybe. Maybe, I guess. Um, but anyway, she's an auto included on the sideline, right? Like we're definitely including Dark Phoenix. Well, are if there any? You're, yeah, I mean, no matter what theme you start out with, right? You're always including Dark Phoenix. Yeah. Is there any other just like auto include? You always want this piece on your sideline because that's what we're trying to build, right? right? I think the Magnetos get real hard <laughs> because. Wait, you can you can never swap in a Magneto, right? No, because it's a uh, same name. So okay, so these the Magneto shouldn't even be over here on the sideline, like part. Oh, because you you can build both them, I guess. Uh, well, no, 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 you can't replace. Sorry, you can re you can switch this this Dark Phoenix uh, this Danger Room one. I just I was playing around. Ignore the Danger Room one. Okay. You can't re really replace this Magneto with another Magneto. You can replace another figure like Dark Phoenix with a Magneto as long as you don't take out this Magneto. Oh, like, I see. What because you're this Magneto is no longer in the switching pool. Right, 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 right. So, so that if which we talked about, he's good enough to be on your main four. So you can yeah, say, he definitely is. You can say, all right, I'm going to keep him, and then I'm going to switch another one of my pieces to a Magneto. Yeah, giving Dark Phoenix his ESD is great. Like that, that's really good. Um, okay, that's fair. Um, trying to think of other auto includes. I probably Harry Leland to stop against like Alpha Strike stuff, right? Mm. And heavy retails, I would think. Mm. I don't. I don't like Harry Leland, but if I against a certain team, I want Harry Leland as an option, right? Because he's very. True. I feel like, yeah, I feel like you have to have him on the sideline. Like, if you see Adam, uh, Micron Adam Adam team, you're playing this guy because they can't approach you then, right? At all. They, it just ruins their whole team. And that's yeah. popular enough, I think. So, uh, and, and yeah. I mean, he's good against other figures. I mean, he's good against Guy Tyrant. Remember, he was bad yeah. against Vulture because Vulture just did enough damage. Cause I don't he think just he's good against Guy Tyrant. Well, he takes his attack and damage by two down. Yeah, but the so the damage doesn't matter because Sky Tyrant always quakes. He's quaking. The right. the attack matters a little bit, but on those teams you can get it up so high, and I don't think it helps that much. Right. Well, what I'm saying is is that Perplex no longer applies the damage, and so his negative two to damage is more significant because there's not as many pluses to damage. So that's why like he got a mini buff in that instance because generally people that come with him for are attacking. So, yeah, in general, I agree with you. Just not specifically against Sky Tyrant because you can get around it. Well, right, right. So that's why I say like, all right, Sky Tyrant. Sure, he he doesn't really care about damage that much, and that's why like he wasn't really re Harry, Harry wasn't relevant as much with Vulture because Vulture just got so much damage that the minus two didn't matter because you were right. flurrying for five. Okay, you flurry for six. Harry's still dead. Like it, it like three two times he's still right. dead. Yeah. But but now in today's world, that's not happening as much. So, mm -hmm. I I think I think Harry makes your sideline because fifty is a good point, like a good point total. It's a nice round number. Mm -hmm. Um, he he does shut off certain teams, or helps against certain things. So. Yeah, he's like Harry's one of the biggest. Um like silver bullet or tech includes in the game to me because he some teams is just useless against he's a nine attack one damage in cap piece and then there are other teams he just completely shuts down so he's the perfect figure to do this with whenever i saw this initially my mind went to Harry leland first because he's such a boomer bus figure that you want him out if you don't need him but you need him when you need him if that makes sense right like so he's i like he is definitely yeah. not main force. You are not main forcing Harry, unless, unless you're just starting off with the Hellfire team. Like, that's well, some totally... people like Harry, so some people might main force him. True. I, I think having him on the main force is probably fine, right? So, yeah. like, uh, I, I, I think if you're going Hellfire, right? Like, you know, because Jason's good. I mean, Weingart's good, right? 
Um, it's okay. I mean, Dark Phoenix is good. Um, <laughs> yep. uh, I guess we're maybe still pending some, um, I don't know, whatever the... The chase could be helpful. Herbert. Yeah, yeah, Herbert. Herbert, yeah. But, and then we're also pending whatever, be at, you know, whatever comes of the at no cost ruling or however that's ruled for whatever event you're going to or whatever, right? Can you mind control a bunch? Um, but, I well, mean, no, I think with, I think with Jason, he was ruled... And, well, Wizkits hasn't ruled it before that. He recluse for Huntington event. Jason's fine because of the way he's worded. Like, he's not worded at, oh, in general, he could do at no cost mind control, I don't think. He's worded a little bit different. Yeah, I, 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 it's fine, right? I, I'm not here to, like, argue it one way or the other, right? Because Wizkits could come out with the opposite or the same, right? Oh, it's, it's um, because a lot of the no costs do powers that have free actions in the ability. So, like, a running shot for free. Well, the reason running shot at no cost doesn't work is because the, the range action is, is free, as free. But Jason, he's fine because he uses mind control. He uses it at range at no cost. So that's not a free action okay. at any point gotcha. that he's repeating. It's just a general no cost. So he is technically fine um, because they did say no cost is going to work how it used to work. So Jason shouldn't have any issues Um Unless someone wants to make a, a different ruling, but Jason should well, be fine. Well, shit, there you go. I mean, so uh, let, yeah, so, so let, let, I mean, I think me just, I think just having Jason, you know, Jason, you know, the swappy mags, uh, Jean Grey and Harry and a couple of Dark Phoenixes sound pretty good, you know. I yep. think, I think you can make a reasonable Brotherhood team and a reasonable Hellfire team. Just main board. Yeah, like, period. Both of those. Um, well, uh, acolytes, man, if you want to really make an acolytes team, I mean, more power to you. I looked I mean, at acolytes before this because of Exodus, and it it's not there. <laughs> but you got, there are some interesting acolyte pieces. You you would have to be the type of person that wants to play power pack. So, if you really want acolytes to to be uh -huh, your main uh -huh. board, but you could though with this team, you could do it as a troll. It'd be like, I'm going to play Acolytes. I'm going to write Acolytes on my page. And then you and switch then everything play, out. Yeah, and play Magneto, Rare Magneto from House of X, Tempo, Moira X, and then be like, all right, I got a bunch of Scanners and Fabians, and I'm going to, well, not a bunch. You can't switch out multiple, but, uh, and just roll everybody by switching all those out. out. Yeah. yeah. That's what Let's people used to do with, um, what was it? The round table, or where you could switch out figures on the with an ID or something with the round table. Yeah, uh, PJ did something with um, Ghost Abraham Lincoln, where he always switched them out at the beginning of the game. Yes, that was it, because he w really wanted to say that Ghost Abraham Lincoln was on his team. Mm -hmm. Well, That's he was just the, he was just the optimal amount of points as a monster to swap out for that Green Lantern. Yep. All right. Um, like the team technically couldn't function without Ghost. It just they never kept Ghost. I think a big one that's going to be important is actually this Emma, because she can pick and prove targeting blocking. So if you get to a really bad map, if you lose map and go to a really locked up map, like she could pick blocking and elevated on like King's Tomb or something like that. So I think you probably only always want her. What number Emma is that? Uh, it's a new super rare, fifty something. I don't know what exactly. Yeah, number. and for those looking at Dan's video, I apologize. I made these tokens, and um, Emma here, the super rare one. That's a super rare. It's the same freaking color as the chase. In my head, this looked more yellow than orange. So I was like, yeah, that's the totally the super rare color. And then if you look at Duke Pool up here, you see this brown color. So I was like, that's the chase color. Oh. Well. No, but okay. I, made the, I made the I made the super rare colors the same as the chase colors. So the don't freak out. One hundred and twenty-five point Emma. Yeah, the yeah the the super rare. So she can. Oh, okay. So she just chooses improved elevation, improved tendering, improved blocking. So she can only do one of those, right? Uh, yeah, per turn she gets to pick. Oh no, you get it or or you may choose an additional improved targeting for each action for each token. token. Yeah. So she can pick two. She can pick three if she has double token for prob or whatever. Um, 
Or if you can give her... No, but she's not making an attack if she's got two, so... No, it's mainly for, like the like I said, the prob or her outwit. Right. So you can you could probably choose improved targeting blocking, improved targeting elevation, and wreck face on King's Tomb. Right, yeah. And she's triple target mind control. She's got great stats. I think she's worth... Well, she's side 12 for 4 side blast, right? Yeah. She's, she's really good. Right. <laughs> um, I mean, you're, you know, sign me up. Uh, so I think she's probably an auto. It's hard to make up the points for for her though, you know, because with the cheapest being a hundred, you'd have to take out one hundred and fifty points for her, and a twenty five point piece or a thirty point piece. Um, so that's gonna make it harder. But uh, it's probably worth it because of again, if you get on a really bad map for like Jason or something. Okay, so. So let I, I would prefer if we did this to help me look figure this out. So okay. ha Harry, he is there against what type of teams? What are you switching him in for? Retail heavy, placement heavy? Pretty much, yeah, right. Okay, and so that goes on what type of team would you play that you are afraid of retails more than not? If that makes sense. Like are you playing him on not necessarily Alpha Strike, maybe Alpha Strike? I think like it'd be I, every team. Because when, when I think, well, okay, so when I think of these type of teams, like switching out, I think of them as packages. Like I come into a tournament with, I've got multiple packages I'm what ready to pump out with, depending on what you're playing. And so going through and saying, oh yeah, Emma Frost, she's good in these scenarios. Okay, well, who would I package with her to switch out with something else? So that's why I, I want to say, okay. So Harry is good for retail, so he's going on my package against retail teams. Is Emma going on that team? Like, would she be? I know we it depend on points, but like, is she? What instance are you bringing in Emma? You said if you end up on King's Tomb. Yeah, King's Tomb. Um, any anything like that. Um, Ancient Hold. Just a big a blocked up map, right? So, so not map related. So that's if you if you don't pick map, they pick a king's tomb map. Right. You're saying I am picking Emma because she could get, see through all of that. Okay. Depending okay. on the main board, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I, this is how I think of how to do the switch out teams. What are the scenarios? Because I might find okay, maybe the king's tomb switch out makes isn't as good as something Mystique could do for another team. You know that, that that's what people want need to know like hey ms4 when you go against these barrier maybe barrier teams th that you could just see through them but then maybe the meta doesn't have a lot of that maybe those maps retire and now emma is not as relevant we shouldn't keep her in there we should have a different package so that's why i want to make sure when we talk about who's on the sideline specifically what are they for and then kind of lump them together if any of them also work against retail or also work against barrier, so we can start building these packages, um, because the this is the hardest part about this. You really have to think about, like, you really have to think about who you're switching and why you're switching them, and then figure out if you can get the points to work. It doesn't have to be the same points; it could be a little bit less, but you generally don't want less. Yeah, because cause you're losing efficiency for sure. Right. Um, so let's think. I, yeah, to, but I agree with all of that. But to me, these three down here are just these were the ones that I went to as an auto include. Like, just because they're they're so good in this specific situation. Well, she's just always really really good. But the other two are very specific in what they do, to where it, you gain enough value to have them on your sideline. I guess. Okay, and you don't think they should be necessarily main boarded outside of dark Fe dark phoenix is to, should be yeah. just in the middle. Could... Yeah, <laughs> because I'm one of I'm, you're definitely yeah as much dark phoenix as you can there. I mean, what? As uh, tell me this, Tyler. What is the scenario you're not playing her main boarded? Just period. Like, what is the scenario you're like? I'm playing somebody else, and then I'm gonna bring her in. Like, I don't think there is one. I think yeah. that the you're like, always playing. Well, I mean, obviously, if you're playing building the Brotherhood of Mutants team, then you can't, right? Because he doesn't have that keyword, right? Right. So I guess we can start. Do we want to just start saying, all right, we're building a Hellfire? Like, I don't see a scenario where we... Yeah, I guess that is the only one, Brotherhood, and you mm -hmm. just switch in to have her, but I don't know if you build Brotherhood because of 
that. Like, I would almost say, like, I, I yeah, I guess it just depends. That, that, that's a tricky part of doing this <laughs> video is just like, where do you, where do you start? Like, oh, so, I, our... so by the way, I, I know that I'm being a little bit quiet here, but y'all are just like firing on all your cylinders. I'm, yeah. I'm loving it, right? So, so if I was to just say, sum this up, right? And so as this team develops, right? There's, I love how Alex is framing it as packages, right? So I work with data, um, and you're going to have your one data. to data. Um, <laughs> you're going to have your one to many relationships, right? where these different packages that you start out with and you're going to have to almost write all this down right like your point totals on your starting force and your main force and what your scenarios run into so you run into this intricate lines where like you start out with harry right well when does harry go out what does he go out to you know why does harry go out do you combo harry and dark phoenix going out with something else so you've got to build your main force package, your sideline packages within the confines of nine characters and being able to want to have trouble alerts. So, all right. Um, do but, we want to start with do we want to start with Brotherhood or Hellfire? We should main force it first. Build a main force. Yeah, I agree. Well, I want can I try I want to try a Hellfire or not Hellfire, a Brotherhood team. Go ahead. Go for it. Go for it. Yeah. I I think we have to main force it first and say this is what we would play and then say okay this is what the main force can do what are scenarios we want to take some of these figures out because we want to be able to have a, a swiss army knife against some of these other pieces like that's what this is we can't start with oh these pieces would be good on sideline we have to start with the main force and say this is what i'm playing because there is a scenario where maybe you don't get to replace some of these figures because dr thing is a thing they could technically play Dr. Thing and say, you don't get to use this replacement figure. So you can't purely re rely on this trait. You can probably 90 something percent of the time. How many points is this? So we got 40, 90, he's 45. So 135, 235, 270. So I have 30 points left. Um, mm -hmm. So do like her and uh, uh, an equipment or something. Uh, yeah, you'd probably want a ring or something on Mags or a uh, symbiote on Juggernaut. Uh, I was thinking Waldo Arms, but yeah, some, something. But that's 290, so that's a good... Uh, uh, just get, point, just so. keep in mind with Mother, though, she's pretty X-Men specific, but that's fine with Jug because you have Juggernaut. Mm -hmm. I, I don't care about her stuff too much. I care about the double for Plex and the 2K, right? Yeah, so is, yeah. is Mother the only title character we have in play here? Yeah, well, yeah, re yeah. Remember, you, she has to be main force. You can't bring her in any other way, and you cannot switch her out any other way. Oh, you can't. She can't be replaced. I forgot. Okay. Yeah. So if you play her, she is on your force. She's probably good enough. She she gives you TK. She has willpower, which is nice. So she doesn't push anymore. Oh, She's that's got so perplex. annoying, though. Yeah. So I have her on here just because she's a, she is Brotherhood. She's a bigger piece, like a bigger support piece but she does come with caveats she is so, the only title character in this whole selection this so. team you so let's hypothetical this team right so you would send out the danger rooms to harass juggernaut be your like big follow-up you got probs you got tks you got perplexes um the glaring weakness here to me is that you don't have retail <laughs> i mean so... you could you could with this magneto yeah it's not Great. It's a it's a wimpy it's a it's definitely a wimpy one, but it yeah. is technically one. So yeah, he, but he's just TK and leadership. What you get with her, and you get with oh, I don't have leadership except for this Magneto, right? Right. So that's a big deal because I don't, wouldn't want to switch out without get bringing in a um leadership. So maybe I do go this instead. It only leave me five points. I almost wonder if you take out Mother. Oops. But she's oh, yeah, so good. But she can't be replaced, so it's not super like super flexible. But, but it doesn't have to be. Like we're not. You can build this team, however. Um, 
what would you Mimic, bring in? I have Mimic 40 at, points left here. Mimic at 45 has leadership. Yeah, you are correct. <laughs> what, what would you... So I have 40 points left on this brother and team. How many points? 50? 40. 40. Um, I mean, Destiny is cool, but... Uh, that's tricky. Two Magnetos? How much is Amelia Vaught? Or Vote, or whatever you call her? Uh, I can tell you just a second. She is... 45. I, yeah, I think she's 45. She is. She's kind of expensive. You could always go two Magnetos. I mean, because they have the free plays. Don't forget that, so... Yeah, I like you... her. I think. Let's see, only to carry characters. She has passenger four. Does Juggernaut have uh, Battle Fury? Yes. Okay. Stupid. Yeah, whoever designed them. Man. I agree. It's so annoying. Um, so, what? real quick, because I've gotten some responses from fellow judges uh -huh, uh -huh. on our question. So. With this trait, I don't think anyone has actually been doing it. I don't need that. That's what I was a, thinking. But at a fundamental level, yes, because in order to replace a character, you actually have to put a character in a certain square of the character they're replacing. So okay. you can't just you can't just have like five characters and just willy nilly throw other five characters. You have mm -hmm. to replace them in a square. So you do have to declare who you're replacing with what. Now you would be a moron. To do the scenario you were talking about, Tyler, oh. <laughs> to say to say yeah. I'm replacing another you know, figure, yeah, like you'd be you'd have to be a dummy. So fair yeah, enough, because yeah, because <laughs> there would be a much higher risk involved. But true, like I don't think people have been playing that way. No, they definitely uh, I, haven't. <laughs> because that could make things where if I switch a fifty point figure to thirty point Valeria, well, Valeria is now a higher target for me because she's worth fifty points as opposed to thirty. And she dies pretty quickly. Right, yeah. Okay, so let's just use this as a example, hypothetical. So what could you switch into this team that would make it better in the matchups that we would go, so what, go against? So what would what would be a weakness on this team? Like what what is this team weak against? I don't know. Well, you you said Narita. It, yeah, we added him, but it's not much. So I think like, so I, I think, think it runs into like I mean if like so if i'm just thinking here right uh jugs is at 100 right mm -hmm. so in this kind of this what we've been building here and you know it's just one of those things right guys we don't have to be perfect here right this is yes this, we do this is yes we do okay all right well, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> i'm sorry all right okay well sure um so it, it's one of those things right so you've got to like work on your math and your packaging so in this instance, you have uh, a situation on your packaging here where you want Harry and you want Dark Phoenix. So that's 80 points. What 80 points comes off the build? If you want Harry and Dark Phoenix? Um, probably Sabretooth. You probably do this, right? Yeah, that's 90... 85. 85. That's 85 points. Right. That's pretty good. I think that... Um... You get a lot of good breaking points with this build, you know, because mm -hmm. he's 50. If you want to bring something else in, it's 100. You got 70. They're all different point values, which is important. You have, right? Yeah, because 25, you have 35, you have 45, and you have 50 and 40. So that's a lot of different options to work with. I like that. Um, oh, I almost, I don't like Mother. I'm really, the only reason is because. Who you? Well, no, I'm, I'm looking at 35 points, and I'm thinking I could just switch her for a Dark Phoenix, but I can't because she's a title character. That is sad. Um, like, I would almost want to switch her and Magneto, so that's what? Uh, how much is Mother? 35? That's 60 yeah. points. So that's one Dark Phoenix, and do we have a 30-point, another 30-point leadership somewhere? I mean... Well, no, but we have him for leadership now, so we don't need it. Yeah, because the problem is, is that you can't replace her. Right. And I feel like we need to. Like, I almost would want to try to fit Amelia in to give you. Because does she have. She doesn't have TK, though, right? No. She's a perplex. 
But we have t we have this team has three TKs right now. So so we need per we need perplex. So what is there any other pieces on Brotherhood that has a perplex, or do we just play a reality gem and just be Amelia like? Amelia Vaught has perplex. Like, cause who? What do we need the perplex for outside of just general perplex? Is it required to get Juggernaut up there? Is it required to do anything um, specific? To have full map reach, he needs perplex in a movement at 100 points. I think he needs like two perplexes or something. And is that true even with two Magnetos to place him forward one square? Um, at 100 points, he has what, 11 movement. So you TK is standard 6, and then charge 11 would be 17. You start in square 2, so I guess you square 19. Um, so you, and then I have him as a giant reach. So attack 20, 21. So he needs two extra spots. Okay, so we can get him one with the placement. So, like, uh, post-retirement, too, you're looking at something like including Waldo Arms or something like that. Maybe. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, Waldo Arms, not Rock Arms. Right. Waldo Arms is really good with him, too, actually. Um, so... Uh, yeah, but I'm right. not trying to make this team as good as it can be. I'm just trying to use it as an example to right. what we can bring in. Um... So, like, if you run into a team that's Juggernaut is bad against, I'm trying to think what that would be. Uh, if they can well, steal your objects, right? That that's a that's a bad matchup for Juggernaut. So, in that case, maybe you just switch out to. I mean, you could just do this, right? You just take out both of those, and um, him and Jason, right? And just completely different team. Different yeah, but the, team. Pro the thing is that you don't want to swap in Jason. Why? Because you can't use the constructs. Yeah. Why? But the the he means the tokens, the pogs, the Why? bystander. Because I uh, don't think you can declare them as sideline because he is a maybe sideline. Is it? Is uh, it? Does it fall within the ID scenario of old yeah, so... where you you can't include something on your sideline if it's not a something that's on your main force? Like right. I don't so, know. It's so tricky. Jason Weingard says. I thought... Choose a character on your sideline of 150 points or less. So, mm -hmm. as far as I know, the only reason you can include things on your sideline... Uh, you have to have a reason to do it. Right, so I don't, know if the, reason. I don't know if the reason is I'm playing Weingard on my sideline works. Why? That's been... You, you, would, that's... Have a reason to, you would have a reason to... A, a, a non-opponent method of bringing jason in so i think it might work well it doesn't even need to be a non-opponent reason yeah it does because they ruled before with id characters someone people were you know, back with like the round table and whatnot people were sticking all sorts of things on their id on their sideline because you could hit that one point on your round table to just bring in whoever or something like that and they said no you can't include something on your sideline. Wait, but didn't they so say something about this dependent. with the uh, re more recently with the captains and the allies? Uh, I don't. But what you're saying doesn't make sense, Alex, because the new Sentinel disproves that. Because you include him on your sideline, but you can only bring him in based on something your opponent does. Uh, three hits. Oh, by your opponent. Oh, that's true. Well, yeah. and you, you've got trouble lords and troublemakers. So yeah. No, I'm saying. Uh, but no, I think, didn't, didn't I they think rule Jason something is fine. Did they rule something with the uh, allies though? Like you, people including allies on their sad line for just in the instance if they mind controlled an opponent's team. I don't know. Is this not ringing a bell? No. <laughs> so like, high evolutionary. Is a is an ally. So he has I satellites. understand what you're saying. Right. I just don't know if they made a ruling on that or not. Yeah. I will also go to the judges and get a general ruling. <laughs> a general ruling. Yeah, these are not well, a, ge a general suggestion of how well, we no, feel it, it will be ruled. Right. It's in. It's in the. I think it works. I think it's it works. in the comprehensive rule book somewhere where it says it has to be. You have to have a reason for it. I just don't know what the wording is on that. Is I'm trying to find it right now, but. There's 54 instances of sideline in this. Um, your sideline contains game elements that come onto the map later in the game or special effects. 
A game element added to your sideline for a specific effect can't be used for any other effect. It can only leave your sideline, re-enter, or be referencing your sideline for that specific effect. You may not use the passive abilities of any game element that are in your sideline, including effects that apply during force construction, unless the effect specifies otherwise or has a sideline active key phrase. Okay, so yeah, they can, they could, they can be there because Jason has a specific reason why they are there. Whether Jason's in the game or on the sideline, Jason puts them there for a specific reason. Yeah. And so whether Jason's on your main force or switched in later, that's fine. Now they take up sideline slots. So mm -hmm. so I will say this. Um Jason let let me talk about Jason real quick. Um because you know, Jason's got a lot of tools recently. Um but people are used to stacking their sideline with like four or five suitors for jason's pogs weird word you, okay weird word yeah well it's jason um you can probably get away with i think two you could get away with isaac who's still going to be legal because i think he's mm -hmm. like 2018 yep um and you could get away with lex luther from the recent set no. because yeah because isaac gives you the chaos tk the running shot like isaac's great um, and then you have Lex, who gives you, like, Bizarro's amazing, Green Lantern's amazing. Like, those give you the powerhouse figures. 11 for 4. I am, never, I am never not running Chewie with, with Jason, ever. That's because you have some weird thing with No, Chewie. it's because it's the best Pog in the game. Just because he has Perplex? He's got Perplex, Plasticity, Giant Reach, Flurry Blades. But plasticity isn't nearly as and good super anymore. And super senses. It's not as good, but if you drop a plasticity piece with flurry and blades next to somebody, it's very good. But it's one it's one option against two. Like that's why I think you sure you could go Captain Marvel as one if you want. You could go uh Miles and Gwen for another if you want for those two options. But you could probably get away with two. Isaac is most likely gonna be your one for sure, because you want chaos and then you want like the the running shot one is pretty good if you need a running shot one, um, like it's he's pretty much just chaos. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much chaos. But I've seen like when Adam won, he was he played the running shot one, in one of his game, like either the title game or the the game before that, he played not just chaos. I don't so... like Lex because he doesn't make autonomous box. I feel like that's the big upside with Jason. Uh, what you mean with Isaac? No, with Jason, you get to make autonomous box. Oh. I, I just like it because they're heavy hitters. Eleven for four is pretty pretty big to me. Yeah. And eleven for three with a seven range. Like that's that's what, twelve range? Yeah, but you got it's, a five movement. I don't think it's much better than Isaac, who's autonomous. He's eleven for four. I guess. Either way, you should try to limit it to two. Cause but it depends on the team. I mean if you're only gonna replace just jason like one figure then you have plenty of sideline to play with but otherwise try to find a happy two figures because mm -hmm. that leaves you the five sideline figures you're switching in two for jason and then that leaves you two one troublemaker one trouble alert maybe so like yeah so on this team again if it's a like a bad juggernaut matchup you could switch out this and this or blackheart who is amazing and Jason, that's a that's great. I want her though. I you got to take her. You got to take Mother out. You just gotta. no. She is thirty five points. You cannot do anything with. She is stuck there. She but is she, stuck. You say that, but I'm paying thirty five points for a great thirty five points, right? I guess, but that's also that's a Dark Phoenix. Like yeah, but she's always gonna be good. I can get Dark Phoenix out by switching. Like I would rather a mother on the team than this guy. Right. Uh, I wish there was just another. Is there any other perplex? Like that's Amelia uh, Vaughn. Well, besides her. <laughs> I, mean, uh... I mean, is there is there an instance? But it's not just that, it's double perplex and a TK. But then she takes damage. And then, I mean, right, I get it. So... It's first turn. Either way. I, right, I don't like her because she's stuck there. Mm -hmm. 
I think in, in a lot of cases, though, with this Magneto, I'm just switching him out for Dark Phoenix on a, on a Brotherhood team. You lose a leadership, so you'd have to put in a leadership. Or do you have him. one? Do you have one with him? Well, I have like five leaderships on this team. I, both Magnetos have it. Jason has it. So wait she a minute, Tyler. How, what, yeah. that's, what you have right now? Mm -hmm. Oh, nope. You just moved the Dark Phoenix away. Who are you taking yeah. out to get Dark Phoenix on? Because you get uh, that I would extra. I, I would probably take him out for Dark Phoenix, probably. Okay, well, you could you couldn't do that with your current switch. Why? Because you're already taken out of Magneto. Oh yeah, I might I I might lose him then. I think I can do that. Let I me see. He, so I think you could lose Jugs, Saber, wait, wait, wait. and Mags. Wait, wait, wait. How many points is it? That's 190, and I so swapped in. Oh yeah, that would 100, work. 185. Yeah, I could do that, and that would be that would be a good team. Oh no no no, hold on. Hold on. So I've taken out 190. I've added 150. So I have 40 left. Right. All right. Yeah. So then I could just add her. Yeah. Or no. 185 because this guy's 85. Yeah. 185. I'm swapping in 180. Yeah. That's really good. And then I so, saw. So what you've ended up with there on the screen. So Mother, Blackheart, Danger Room mm -hmm. Mags. Jason, Magneto, and Dark. Wait, Phoenix. wait, wait! wait. Time out! T time what? out! What figure? What figures do we gotta? You know, we just learned we have to declare who is switching with who. Who yeah. are you switching with who? who? Uh, let's say I, I don't think it matters too much, but Jason, Jason for him, um, uh, Blackheart for him, and Dark Phoenix for her. Uh, I think Jugs is the black heart. I don't think it matters. Those are the same points, but sure. Uh, black heart's a little bit harder to KO. Oh, that's true. You probably want to put him on the harder to kill one. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. I, these are things you've got to think about because this mm -hmm. is probably how the team should be played. That makes so sense. Like, okay, so wait, let's make copies. So you have black heart on Jugs. And how are you doing the rest of this? Yeah, I like that. It's fine. Um, the higher to higher, lower to lower. That's good. And I like both of these teams. They're both solid teams. Um, yeah, I mean, I like what you've got there. I mean, Blackheart, you know, Grant, you know, generating some guards, all the cool stuff he Jason, does. Mother. Being able to play Jason and not have to worry about Lord Doom is very good. Uh, having because... the option to play Jason, you mean? Right, yeah, being able to play him, but then if if you run into Lord Doom, just don't play him, and it's great. Mm -hmm. Um, I like both okay. of these teams. There can be teams that are very, very susceptible to Juggernaut. Like if somebody you see somebody playing a Lord Doom, like <laughs> you're <laughs> popping in that that Juggernaut. Right. So, so not Lord Doom. Um. All right. So so all right, Tyler. I wanna... God Doom. I was thinking God Doom. Uh huh. Uh yes. So here's what I want you to do. So we. <laughs> Let's bring this to a point for Brotherhood for our listeners. So roll it back to the beginning. And then, so that's what you're starting with. So Saber, Mags, the other Mags, Juggy, Mother, uh, Push, Magneto, two by two. So you're saying, in, you know, a lot of examples are, you know, in, in this example, right? You're taking out. Sabretooth, Uncommon Mags, and Jugs bringing in Blackheart, Jason Weingard, and Dark Phoenix. Uh -huh. um, so that becomes a little bit harder to KO. Blackheart's a little bit hard to KO. Blackheart does some really cool things with Hellfire Club Guards. Mm -hmm. Jason Weingard oh, yeah. does proven things. Dark Phoenix has retail. You may switch this. Actually, you probably do. In that situation, if you're playing a black heart, switch out this guy for this uh, for the hell hell fire guard or whatever. But you couldn't do that. Uh, you can't do that additionally because that's uh, that's Magneto. two magnetos. Oh, I was switching out the forty point one. You're right. I forgot. Yeah, same same thing though. You got three okay, magnetos. So, you can only swap out one. So, all right. So that so that's one package. 
but you have you you take out Juggernaut, and you switch it into that other package. Okay. Now, is there a scenario where you're playing this team, this main team? Uh, I so, think this team is definitely good enough to be played. Right, because I mean Juggernaut does well enough anyways, and you've got enough perplex and TK and placement. I mean, you might, you know, depending on the team, right, you might switch out Sabretooth for... Uh, there are 30... All right, tell me, is there, a 30, is there a 35-point Brotherhood figure? Just just, I said no. There's got to be one. Destiny. But... Destiny is a 35-point okay. Brotherhood figure. Right. We don't have her on here because she's just a prom. I think she's you... more than that. No, not the not the legacy destiny. Yeah, the... I, I think the thirty point one is really really good. Okay, yeah. you should ditch Mar uh, mother. We'll say this is the thirty point destiny. I don't because... want to, but no, okay. but no, because mother... at the beginning, no, listen, 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 listen. Beginning a game, if you're playing the juggernaut team, like she's thirty five points. Is this destiny? You're ditching her and throwing in tempo, right? Maybe. Because then Juggernaut gets a plus three to his speed, and then you got the TK from Magneto, and you just go to town. You don't need anything else. Perplex well, I don't on need a, perplex on attack. Yeah. Well, no, you're using Mother's perplex for because you need two for Juggernaut to get her to get him to if they're in their area, starting area, which is what you're doing, right? Like that. That was your argument for this was to get into their starting area. No, you need the double perplex. I said that to get full map reach, you need two perplexes on this team. Okay. Or no, well, you need one perplex in the placement from uh, Magneto. I'm just saying that's a that's another switch out is tempo because we mentioned how good tempo is. I think off the video. Um, yeah, I like tempo a lot, but Mother's very good. I like, <laughs> I like Mother. Yeah, I agree with. I won't agree with Tyler on Mother and. Move, move you along so that's one package for brotherhood which i think is you can but you can perplex just one turn you only get perplex once and then you get double prob okay but your argument was perplex you get it once that's no all. my argument is mother mother is a very good piece well, <laughs> that's so my Jugs argument typically only needs perplex one once turn. the one turn right because it's a big alpha now i i, I guess <laughs> Okay, so yeah, that's that's the Brotherhood team. We can we can move on to Hellfire because. Huh. Well, or, or wait, hold on. That we gave them one package. Is there any other packages? There are out of all this. There's probably tons of multiple packages, right? But the idea of a strategy and tactics video is not always to be comprehensive, right? There, there. Nobody should ever claim in Hero Clicks that we're going to give you all of the tools to make you a hundred percent successful. We can only give right, you but... the, we can only give you the tools to help develop you as a player. So I think for this package, that is this is a very solid package that Tyler has presented. And there are Isn't probably it... another half dozen ones. <laughs> That's what you... she said. <laughs> right, and there's probably right. another half dozen packages that you could come up with. Uh, okay, pretty, then pretty can we ways. quickly come up with one package that has Exodus in it? Which one? The, the 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 big boy the big boy exodus the two by two i'm just uh, curious um... i mean because i you know if you're wondering which we haven't we haven't put that out there if you're wondering why some figures are missing we did a little bit of a hey who's worth it in brotherhood who's worth it in hellfire who's worth it in acolytes to even bring them to the game so yes there are other figures in each of these that aren't here like Destiny, 35-point Destiny. Um, that's because we just quickly went through and said, ah, they're not really meta-worthy to ever switch in. That doesn't mean they can't be mainboarded and switched out, but that's why if you you see some people missing, that's why. Um, we, we, did, we did just forget some. I mean, is there a team where you're like, you're going against someone, you're like, yeah, man, I really want this 2x2 two two Exodus. Like, he stops, what, Sky Tyrant? Sky Tyrant's the big one. Um... Well, there's a lot of Alpha Strike now, right? Yeah, but he doesn't stop all Alpha Strike. Like he wouldn't. He doesn't help against placement, 
right? No, it's he doesn't. He doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't help against the Herald, like the Guy Gardner's. He doesn't help against JLU. Yeah, he doesn't specifically charge. Right. So if you're playing against a like a Where what's it called? This? Up here is. What am I blanking on? Sinister. No, Sinister Six. Yeah, right. Is that right? Secret, yeah. Six. Secret Six. Secret Six. Thank yeah. you. So if you run into just like this cookie cutter secret six team, what are you switching to? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like what? What team? Is there anything that you're like, man? Exodus is a hard. Like we've got Harry for those retail. <laughs> Sky Ex Timer. Exodus is very good against Sky Timer. That's what I'm saying. Is there anything else? So I think in that example, right? Like so Juggernaut. Exodus, Exodus is good against Juggernaut. Right. So. He stops charge. Anybody with charge, pretty much. Or hypersonic. As an alpha. He may not be worthy for bringing. I mean, I guess uh, Sky, <laughs> Sky Tyrant's pretty relevant, but it's a lot of Sky Tyrant. He has leadership. He has leadership also. Uh -huh. yeah, he, like, he's a good attacker. Um, but I'm just wondering what the team would be with him. I'm not sure if it's better than anything else. I think it probably could be. You don't switch out almost the whole team at that point, though. Uh, that's the point. Is like, what are instances you would want to switch out? What are some good packages? And that, that's why I'm looking at all these pieces. I'm like, okay, who does something unique here? Juggernaut and Big Juggernaut, okay, they do kind of similar things. Uh, you can't really switch out the old Magneto because he's really expensive, so he would be kind of hard, I guess, unless you're just switching out everything around him. Like, if you're just playing this super rare Magneto, because he was, what, 175? It's just... the It's a different team. Cause right. The, this right. team that I've built is, a, is an aggressive team. Shocking. No one. Um, But if you switch to Exodus, he's a defensive piece, so you probably want to switch into a, some sort of defensive team. Like, maybe if you run into... Um, I don't even know. Like, it'd have to be just that team. That so, song. like, so in this example, right? I've, I've got it. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Go for it. Dan, Dan, Dan's here. All right. So, take out Jugs. Take out Mags. D Dr. You're swapping in Jason. You're swapping in Exodus. You got to make sure you have some sort of access to barrier on your um, Jason's sideline. So that you can barrier in the rest of your team to force them into the Genosian force field. Oh. And, and you're probably picking four, depending on what map they choose. Because you got to remember, if they choose eight, they can TK into the for Genosian force field. Uh, and there's issues with Giant Reach picking two. So I think overall you're picking four with Genosian force field. I like six, but either one. Uh, six could depending on it uh, depends on map, right? You've got to be very careful with six, but four is probably also fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, there's no, there's probably no relative difference between six and four if all of the ranges on their team are seven or higher. <laughs> yeah. So, oh. but four gives you a little bit extra of oomph protection against TK. Now, it, okay, so one thing I'm thinking about here, because I think a lot of our listeners will also um, invalidate Tyler's team a little bit because he actually put Super Rare Jugs on there, and he doesn't ever play Super Rare Jugs. So, um, I'm building this team for Jason. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you now. Is there – what about – I'm looking at what if I do a crazy – switch out so one thing i've heard people talk about is actually two by two juggernaut mm -hmm. um because he falls prey to outwit. maps well no not really outwit because he has protection against some of that doesn't he yeah he has protected outwit on his if you're playing him at 200 he starts with that um it's if you end up on a map with no blocking he's just he's not nearly as good sure. um so but that requires you to have either another tent pole, like because you can only switch the same amount of characters. So you can't take Juggernaut and parse them out to four different figures. 
So I'm looking at him, and then I'm like, well, I've got this LE Magneto here. Not LE, sorry, but the Legacy Magneto that everyone's been hyping up a bit too. Like, is there something there? 200-point Juggernaut, 175 Magneto. You add Uncommon Magneto, and then you can say, okay, depending on how, if I lose map, if I win map, I'm going with Juggernaut because I'm obviously going to go to Ancient Hold or King's Tomb. But if I lose map and they stick me in the middle of a field with no blocking, maybe I could get by with this Magneto. And then I have some support pieces because I have 100 points to work with him, 60 because I'll have uncommon Magneto. Um, but I'll have, what, 100, uh, 85 to work with? I'm just wondering if there's something there with that to where I've, I've heard people talk about 2x2 two two Juggernaut. And then I've heard people talk about this Magneto. So my first thought was, well, you could switch the two out. Or you could play this Juggernaut with a bunch of lower point, like him and, like, what's the cheapest one we have out here? Destiny at 20? Yeah, Destiny's the cheapest. So that would be 60, so two, two Destinies? Yeah, I don't, I don't hate that. I, I like that... Um... Magneto. I was thinking more switching the Magneto for the Super Air Juggernaut because they're the exact same points. Yeah, I'm just thinking. I've, I'm thinking of what I've seen people talk about with the switching. Um, I've seen people talk about this Juggernaut specifically because he is quite good if you could get him in Ancient Hold because he just barrels through everything, doesn't ever really have tokens, and then he heals once he. If another effect removes a token from him, he heals. So he's. Kinda hard to take down. I um, actually am not a huge fan of him. <laughs> Neither. Well, of thing. course, because you remade you remade him <laughs> into a super rare that wasn't colossal. So, um, and then we might. I mean, once again, we don't know about Herbert, but Herbert is high evolutionary and Blackheart combined. So I assume it's he's going to be pretty good because uh, so, those those are two powerful entities. I was um, thinking something like this like that this and where is he where's magneto right here at 290 um this guy you set this guy at four or six so they can't move in this guy says people within 10 range modify their range by half so they can't shoot in right because they'll have five range or less at least probably four so if you set him to six and have this guy their ranges are four or less that seems pretty good right and then they both have tks to fling each other out if they want to make an attack you can always switch this guy for like a, a dark phoenix or something if you run into anti-range you could switch this guy out for juggernaut oh you could because he's 75 right mm -hmm. so you just switch him out for good old jason right yeah or sorry if they don't have um anything that exodus helps against yeah i was so that, about that... that earlier yeah, because that's another... I'm thinking of, like, okay, the pe some people might be looking at what we're doing, like, maybe this is way too confusing for me. So, like, simpler packages. Bigger pieces where it's like, hey, I'm only moving one or two little pieces. So with this... Oh, wait, sorry. With this team, it's like, hey, I've only got three pieces, and I can only move two of them max. Like, because mm -hmm. two of them are Magnetos. Yeah. So I could keep this Magneto, and I have 115 to switch out, or I can remove this Magneto... And this Exodus for, oh shoot, I don't know, one six, uh, two sixty. So that would be a lot harder to do because you would have to have what eighty, seventy five. What is it? What is one seventy? What's that? Well, no, that? you could either do one thirty. This, this guy. Wait, what are you talking about? Like if I if I had this team in and I'm like, okay, is there a package where I would switch both of these out? Yeah, you could just switch them in for Juggernaut and a 75-point piece. Because Juggernaut is the exact same points as this guy. which is Oh, 175 Juggernaut. Sorry. I was yeah. looking at 100, and I was like, what? That doesn't make sense. Or you could do 200-point Juggernaut, and you could do a 50-point piece. There's a lot of those. Yeah. 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 I like it. All right, let, we should build real quick Hellfire. Because we still got X-Men to talk about. Yes, we Hellfire, do. Hellfire... Um, it's tricky. Oh. So help out. Let's get out here. I'll clear these pieces. 
You were building with Hellfire earlier, so that's why I'm kind of... Well, yeah, kind of. I like Blackheart a lot. <laughs> oh, you could do a double Blackheart team. Um, I was, you know, double Blackheart, Jason. Gotta have Oops. my uh, How many points is that? That's two... 25, 265? 295. Done. That's it. That's the team. If I remember correctly, a wise man once told me you should never play one Dark Phoenix. No, a wise man did not tell you that. A wise man <laughs> told you that two Dark Phoenixes is three times as good as one Dark Phoenix. <laughs> so you just do this. Boom. Play ten points down. That's probably worth it. Still got tons of leadership. We still got you can have room for an object, right? This is 290, so I have 10 points left. Yeah. Um, also, keep in mind, though, if you did do the switch and I just shoot this Dark Phoenix, I score 40 points. So True. That's true. Um, I like the Hellfire with it, the taxi, though. Because, like, these guys and Jason can both do... They're both kind of Alpha Strike pieces. They can do stuff after they move. So I want to fit her on, probably. And she's... But she's kind of awkward right because she's 65 her as in cape pride for those that didn't see a ping cape pride super rare cape pride cape pride super rare cape pride because you can carry three people mm -hmm. and, and she has a leadership she... doesn't no she doesn't have leadership no but you have enough leadership you have i know she said she's leadership. the piece i'm sitting there like why doesn't she have leadership i yes, wish I she did she'd be enough. a much better she'd be a good x-men taxi if she had leadership but she doesn't She's Krakoan Revival doesn't matter. Uh, no. Uh, ah. Hmm? Ah. Uh -oh. Inside an epiphany. But does Krakoan Revival matter? <laughs> no. Probably not on Hellfire teams. Probably not. Um, all right. So, um, what Dan was want to talk about with Hellfire... Um, what about that old uh, Emma Frost there? He is a piece. So I got the Hellfire Club team up card. You do. And oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the thing I was talking about. That's right. This is the thing that Alex didn't let me post about and made me wait for the video for. <laughs> and I was, just, I was just waiting for someone to say, Krakoan revival." Okay. So, after establishing theme teams, if Emma Frost is part of a listed theme team, you may use the following effect. At the beginning of the game, friendly characters gain the X-Men keyword, which makes them eligible for Kakoan Revival. So, 65 mm -hmm. points and less if you swap in that Cape Pride, and that Emma Frost is 90 points. So, things like Jason can be Krakoan Revivaled. You can swap in things like Danger Room Magneto and Krakoan Revive him. Oh, you can Krakoan Revive this dude. Blackheart. That seems is, is he busted. 90, is he 90? No, he's 75. You can Krakoan Revive Blackheart. That seems busted. <laughs> that yeah, just, just, just keep him. One thing to keep in mind, though. Is that you would have to main force Emma, and that anything you want a Kirko and revival, you want to have like you specifically want a Kirko and revival, you want to have on your main team. Why? Because if you lose map, they could say, "Hey, you do Emma's team oh. up first, and right. then you activate the switch." Because it's they all happen beginning of game. First player chooses order because they're mm -hmm. that. So they could ruin that. So gimmick, can you say, gain the effects? Is there any option? Is there any wait. order if I win map? Hold on. Is there an order if I win map where I can Magneto out Emma and still get the uh, effects of the team up card? Or do I have to keep mm. Emma the whole game? No, I don't think you do. But then Emma's your Krakoan revival piece, right? Well, I'd say yeah. if you brought in Kate. If you had Kate. If you, if you brought in... so. Yeah, that would work. It still triggers. Even if you take the figure off of the map, it still triggers. Once again, that would be relying on you being first player. No, if you're not first player, it still if, triggers. If, 
no, because hers is beginning a game. They could say you have to switch out first. Yeah, you, you still switch out, but the effect still happens. I don't think her team up card happens at that point. It does it? Has to happen. No, maybe her is her team her team up cards after beginning a game, isn't it? No, no it's, it's at beginning a game. During beginning a game. Then it happens. Everything at the beginning of the game happens instantly. Well, unless she's not there anymore. No. So, as an example, they can they can make you switch her out. So, <laughs> uh, Doom the Annihilating Conqueror, he can get switched out, and all of their keywords still get turned off. Non-printed ones. What? Non yeah, non-printed keywords. Yeah. Because it, he was on the board when the at, when the beginning of the game happened, all effects trigger at once. It doesn't matter if he gets switched off; the effect still has to resolve because he was on the board when the effect triggered. Let's see. After establishing theme teams, if Emma Frost is part of a listed theme team, so listed theme before, team before happens, you get to the beginning of the game. Yeah. She, oh yeah, theme team establishing theme teams happens first. Yeah. She is still technically part of the list of theme team. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think you could do that, what you're talking about, Dan. Um, yeah, I think you could do that, regardless of how they activate it. Yeah, I think I mean, you can. If that's the case, right? So then we're getting that team up. We're getting the X-Men, right? You have to have Hellfire. So, But you, you want to get in... Is is Kate the only person with Krakoa that can be Hellfire, Acolyte, or Brotherhood in the end? Well, Emma, but and the ninety point Exodus now. Okay. Anybody that's good? Emma's probably the best. I mean Kate's good too. Okay. We're not. We can't get apocalypse. Uh, no. That's Wait, what are we? I'm that's, sorry, I missed this last part. You were asking, what is he asking? That's some bullshit. <laughs> apocalypse is not a. You can't get apocalypse to switch out on yeah. a on a an Emma team. That's definitely some bullshit there. Wait, which wait, which Emma are we talking about? The the Hellfire. Emma. The Hellfire Club. Oh well, you can't on this team. You could on the Professor X version, but yeah, I know. But I want to go and revive Dark uh, Magneto or uh, Danger Room Magneto. Yeah, you, you could you could do that on the Professor X team because you could. No, you can't switch them in. Oh, because of Brotherhood. That's right. Yeah. I'm thinking. I was thinking of yeah. the Trinary trick, which I was going to mm -hmm. talk about. Well, the Trinary trick doesn't give Magneto the X Men keyword. Is the problem right? Right. So you can't. Revival. Right, right, right. Um, yeah. yeah, those are, I think, the only two. Well, Exodus also, but... Oh, yeah, Exodus. And and uh, Magneto. Rare Magneto. Oh, yeah, 90-point Magneto. But then you could just build that team. Yeah, anyway. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you wouldn't, but I'm just oh, saying... Oh, no, no, no. Because it has to be Hellfire, because that's the only way that Emma makes them X-Men. Right, control. right. I, I, I was saying switching Emma out for... Like, you could... Mm -hmm. Switch her out for this Magneto if you wanted a. Like, you start with this Emma and you just want to do a one for one trade and keep Krakoa and Revival. You could switch to this rare Magneto. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, because it makes them. You... No, because you have to switch first. Yeah. Yeah. So, switch so I guess I guess you're right. It's only the Emma and Kate are the only ones that really probably matter. It's too bad Blackheart doesn't have Krakoa and Revival. Um. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but if you lose map, then they could say um, you have to switch out Emma first. Yeah, and no, then... you would have to activate your. Now you could choose like like the Doctor Thing scenario. You could choose to say, okay, I'm just not going to switch out Emma. Like maybe I was originally going to do the trick and say, all right, I'm going to activate Emma's thing and then switch her out. You could still say, all right, I'm going to activate. I'm gonna have Emma just stay main board. So I think even it if... happens anyway. I think you're wrong. I don't think it happens anyway. But if it does, then cool. They all happen at the same time. But you activate beginning of game, so she's out. So she's no longer there when you're activating the rest of the. No, no, no. Beginning of game happens. All effects trigger. 
then you choose which order they are applied. But all they all trigger at the same time. The beginning of game triggers once, is what you're thinking of. Beginning game is triggered. So yeah. you as an active player chooses what order they trigger in. So, But they all have to trigger. They don't all have to because your figure's yes, no longer did. there. No, it's they don't have to if she's I, not there. You are incorrect because it's already activated. You are just choosing at which like way it resolves. Huh. Because it I'll has look, to happen. I'll, I'll look into it <laughs> okay. more. So. I think that's right. I'm pretty sure I'm right. I, I, I'm thinking you're probably right, but I can't, I'm just counter arguing because okay, I, that's fair. there is a, a small percentage chance that you're not. Um, yeah, so I mean, I, I guess right. I mean, the, this whole thing. Any game stuff's getting so hard. Right. So, Krakow and reviving Danger Room Magneto and Sinisters. I mean, just probably worth it, right? Maybe. Especially if you can switch out ammo. Right. I mean, shit. I mean, then you don't have to play ammo. I mean, I mean that's, uh, that sounds like some good shit. I'm honestly more excited about Kirkcorn reviving Blackheart. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to build a team like that. Tyler, Tyler real like... quick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Real quick. How do you take this sentence in the rule book? Game effects with such effects, re referring to the beginning of game triggered effects, uh -huh. must must be on your force and on the map during the specific step in order to trigger and resolve. Yeah, I agree with that. So when it comes to Emma's turn to trigger and resolve, she is not on the map and on your force no. to trigger and resolve at that point. No, she was. She was on during the but, specific... But, what, but when her effect is going off, no, it, read is it, not, it is not a sideline active. Read it again. Effect. Right, it so again. I guess what Alex is saying is that if she swapped out when her effect goes off, or when her effects goes off, those other characters that you're swapping in are not on the force. So they don't get the X-Men keyword. I'm saying I, mean, I disagree with that. <laughs> yeah, okay, I, don't so, think her, I don't think her right, effect so, goes off regardless so, all right, of where right, she all right. is. So. I'm going to table that for y'all for now. Mm -hmm. We could be right or wrong. We don't quite know yet, um, but we will post in our Facebook group or hopefully some folks that see this or wa listen to this will we'll bring it up and maybe give us the right answer on that. So... Whew. Be switching to Professor X. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. Professor X. Professor X. Um, I just want to say that you're right, Tyler. Crocodile reviving Blackheart, Danger Room Magnet, Danger Room Sinister. Mmm. Mmm mmm mmm. Chef's kiss. No. Um. Okay. Magneto. I mean, other one. Professor X. Um, firstly, he's 25 points. That's a, that's a difference. He's also a worse figure, right, in general. Um, and he's almost always getting yeeted. Yeah, I, I don't think he'll ever... Like, he's leadership and outwit for 25 points. Um, but there's just better options for that for X-Men, right? You could just switch him to... Um, the Magneto is probably the, the easiest one I can think of. Rare Magneto for leadership. If you need leadership still. Hmm. Right? Yeah, because you're never... Well, for one, we can all agree. Like, even looking at this, all these tokens I have here, what does everyone notice uh, we don't have here? Another freaking Professor X. So there's never an True. instance... Like, with the Magneto team, it's like, okay, which Magneto do I switch out? Cause I yeah, it's the four... Out. Like, Professor yeah. X, it's like, this is the only one you're probably ever playing in Modern. Yep. Except, I will say, I was looking earlier, and I meant to include him. The super rare Magneto from Animated. Professor what, X. Professor X, that you could give a power action to give one of your own characters an influence token, and then be able to mind control them. I don't think you can, can you? It says when Professor X uses mind control in cap, penetrating psychic or outwit, he can he may target characters with an influence. So I guess it doesn't say specifically you can yeah. target friendly. I guess that gets around. Never mind, still garbage. Yep. But that's not only <laughs> Professor X. So you literally are guaranteed to switch him out because there's <laughs> unless you just really need the twenty five point leadership. 
Which you, yeah, but even then, like I said, you're just using the rare Magneto. Well, unless you're already got five other figures you want to switch out, and you're like, okay, Maybe. I don't have a six spot for Professor oh, X and Magneto. Gosh. So, mm -hmm. guys, y'all, that Professor X is so much worse. Ah. So much worse anyways ugh. anyways i'm not gonna talk about why because it's not the episode for that but let's just keep moving ugh. is it ironic is it ironic that professor x and L professor x and lalandra were an item and was hasn't made a good one of either in so long <laughs> well professor x was good in xavier's school so brood x was good in xavier's school the the rare was good too because he can mind control and throw the tank through walls uh okay i'll give you that one all right, so um, key takeaways before we start building teens. Clearly, we're building X-Men because I only put freaking Empire Emperor Volca because he's the only relevant Shi'ar. Um, un unless Emperor Gladiator, which we haven't seen yet, is amazing. But then he's a prime also, so you can't play both of them. Yeah. Um, so you're not building Shi'ar. You're probably not building Illuminati, but there's a lot of Illuminati pieces. I didn't realize. There's a lot of um, neat ones for sure. Yes, so you could technically main force an Illuminati team and switch them all out to X Men, um, but you're for this scenario. Oh, look, I even have I even have <laughs> Super Magneto here, um, but you're probably not doing that. We're we're all in agreement that you're probably starting with X Men and maybe sprinkling some of these pieces in. Right. So I mean, I think there's a couple things that you're missing that we're missing out on with Illuminati in general. Um, we are losing Earth uh, Battle World. Uh, Why does Titana have the Illuminati? Cube? It's because they it's because they have the gems. It's the gem version. I think they uh, okay. gave Illuminati to the ones that have the Infinity Gems in the storyline. Makes sense. But I think they were on uh, the Illuminati at that point. Yeah. Titana does not story. seem like someone who would be in the Illuminati. The Illuminati is not all good people. No, but they're all smart people. Whoa, um, whoa, whoa! We are, we are whoa. not, we are not oh. heading there. The Enchantress the way, also is on the Illuminati, but okay. yeah. Not, uh, but um, real quick though, uh, uh -huh. that, that, that Titana is not that bad. Um, yes, not, is. not great, but she's not that bad. I'm saying if you want to start with her, that's all. Yeah, I mean, um, to start with her, you got to have the plus five trait. So, I mean, that is a thing. You, would, you wouldn't, you would because you would, if you replace her, you drop the gem and... It might be worth it, though. You're paying five points for a power gem. That seems real good. Right, yeah, that's a good point. Are all the power gems drop unequip or drop I KO? don't know. Unequip drop, I'm fairly certain. I'm looking up. Uh, then you're definitely up. starting with Titana, right? Uh, they are unequipped drop. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I apologize to all the Titana fans out there. You uh, could you could start with some of these and just be like, "Yo, I'm just drop. I'm replacing," and they drop the object, and you start on it, like they drop it in the square. I would just like to say that this is not surprisingly new tech because I did that in Columbus with double DJ Dooms. Or, okay, but but. but... <laughs> Um, so, you okay, so, whenever build, you s so you probably have to just, build your package with Illuminati, right? Because they're going to be the ones that have them from ABPI. Um, so Titana. Um, I did. I did not put. Um, yeah, I've got to no, pull no, up. I, I have them there. I have them. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you I got in, Titana. You got Enchant uh, Enchantress doesn't have, it, but you have Titana. You have Namor. Uh, you have the Iron Man, you have the Doctor Strange. Um, it's going to be hard to build like that because there's no cheap Illuminati piece. Ooh, that's true, though. Uh, yeah, I'm with you there, Tyler. But, uh, I mean, the hood... Except for this Magneto, right? It's 25 the, points. The hood would allow you to get a gauntlet in your starting for, area. For, I think, 10 points? 15. Yeah, so, like, to be clear, if you play play titania you're paying 100 points for her but when you switch her out she counts as 95 so you can only bring in 95 points worth of stuff right no you can only bring in a 95 yeah she cost 100 though right 
but you can only switch her off for a 95 point character. Correct, you couldn't switch yeah. her off for a 100 point. Correct. Which is very annoying because um, it'd be nice to just be able to switch her off for Juggernaut one for one and then have him equip a power gem. That seems good, but you can't do that. Right. Um, so yeah, there's no, the there's no filler Illuminati. The closest thing that you've got is the uh, Fantastic Four Hulk. Uh, uh, the closest thing is Professor X, right? Because he's 25. 25, yeah. But you can only play one of those, right? So. Oh, uh, I wish Mad Thinker Non Prime was part of Illuminati. That makes things so much easier. He's only 20. You can only swap out one of them, though. Yeah. Um, I do like that it kind of forces this sort of Highlander thing so it doesn't get too spammy. Um, that I don't nice. think you build Illuminati, even though that is a cool trick. You're really only saving five. No, I, I'm saying you That's could. Good. Well, you save more yeah, than it's a five. Cool trick. You say, I mean, you only save five points. I agree with that. But you're also one cheating in more objects. Mm -hmm. You're two. You're also protecting your objects. Right. That's a very big deal. Because they are highly unlikely to be able to get to your starting area to throw your objects or whatever. Mm -hmm. Especially Sorry. if you put it like behind somebody. I was just imagine. I was just imagining a world where you somehow played an Illuminati non theme team, and you had a Phil Coulson or two. This is both for rotation, and you somehow switched them out, dropped all the gems, and somehow equipped Ultra Chase Thano with with like three gems turn one. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. That'd be pretty just, fun. Just in my head, I'm just imagining. Wow. What a, what a throwdown would that be? You sit down and be like, okay, I did this to this, and he's got soul gem, power gem, and whatever gem I feel like putting on him. No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind it. Um, time. Okay, it would, so... It would be, it would be time. Probably yeah. not. Probably not Illuminati, though. No, but I say for this, let's let's avoid Illuminati. Doesn't mean we're not going to fit some pieces in, but the main team is going to be X-Men. Uh, you... I think that there's too many pieces, too many little multiple mans and whatnot to, to make it flexible. Illuminati's too not flexible. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think the lowest yeah. point piece is 40. Well, 25. Magneto. Um, oh, you're right. Or not Magneto. Uh, Professor. Uh, right, 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 right. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> the key person who would have yeah. to be on it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, X Men has it's a lot more flexible because there's more there's more pieces for one, and you have ten point multiple man. Which now I will I will say there's like forty point pieces, fifty point pieces. Uh, there is a twenty point Mister Fantastic Illuminati. Just saying, is there? I did not put any of Mister Fantastic because they're all garbage. Um, but the deep cuts Mister Fantastic is twenty points. He's got a stop click actually. Um, so you they could, have... so you do have a twenty point one. Um, you have fifty point beast. Uh, that's you got some fifty pointers out oh, there. Oh, there he is. Okay, yeah, the twenty point guy helps a lot. Yeah, so maybe you do on that. Yeah, but I think for the sake of this, uh, I don't think we need to worry about making a uh, uh, an Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it might be one we build later and post later or something. I think because I don't. Yeah, that's um, about, twenty points is about it. So let's just build. Do you guys, you guys think I just building Brad's team and then seeing if we can just like add this to that, and see if it helps? Well, considering I have a main piece that I think that makes Brad's team a, a way better. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So did, Brad. I, well, uh... we have. Well, okay. Well, time off timeout we have to also rebuild brad's team because this is post rotation so he loses lila so we have to rebuild his team a bit sure. um we have pixie and we have blink which i didn't put blink out here um those are or kate so we have three potential taxis kate is a little pricey pixie's probably your best pick because she's cheaper mm -hmm. um but if we were to go Brad's build, oh, pipe Pixie. Uh, Pixie is 45 points. So you would have to lose, that's 20 points you would have to take off his team. So I'm just doing it. Uh, so that's 80. Uh, is A 70 or 75? I believe he is 70. 70. All right, so these two are 80, so that's 150. That's 210. That's 2. 
255 right here. I don't remember what else he had. You'd have to have a leadership. He had a bishop. Oh, okay. Let's ignore bishop then for now. Let's do the leadership comes from the Professor X, which is where? I don't see him. The leadership He's... also, I think, comes from Case A, right? Doesn't he have it? Uh, I don't think so. No, he does not. Oh. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have it. Oof. Where is? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Um. So I was at two sixty. Two fifty five. So this would be two seventy five, two eighty. There's twenty points for objects and stuff. Um, who would you he, play on this team? He doesn't do objects. I know. He. I'm just. We're building. I'm reinventing the team. So I have twenty points left on this team that I have reinvented. Is there anybody uh, you add? Two, two multiple men. Maybe. Are, are we to that point yet? I don't know if you. Maybe one. There's not really a map bonus that you would really want to throw in there, but there's some flexibility. You probably don't want it to. You don't have time to equip on this team. Uh, you just don't want to. Um, uh, prob probably not. Probably. You go. You go first turn. I mean, you or you, you run out almost immediately, or you pass and run out second turn. So yeah, but you can equip and then move out. You, you to move out, you only need one action. But who would you equip it with? What I guess Apocalypse. Yeah, you equip Apocalypse with and um something. <laughs> you know, probably Power Jet. Let's say. Uh no, Apocalypse isn't really attacking. You want defensive on Apocalypse. Attack. I think he's a defensive enough. From what I watched of Brad's games, he somewhat attacks, but most of your attacks are Dark Phoenixes and the Maggots actually running up and doing something like move actions for them to get into place and then drop their meanings and eenies. Yeah, but like, you got so uh, you got four actions a turn. Let's say one of those is Dark Phoenix, two of those are this guy. You have one extra action. Why not running shot? Well, at, at, as of five. right this moment, are we? At this moment, we have leadership with Professor X. Mm -hmm. But we haven't talked about switching out, and we've been talking about switching out Professor X. So we're assuming we're going to switch in. We're building the team just in general. I got it. Okay. Um, is there any other, like, 20-point X-Men that's worth it? That's what I was thinking. I don't think so. I mean, Jubilee, is Destiny X-Men? Iceman? Yeah, Jubilee's okay. Iceman's ice okay. For retail? I would rather... I would just do... Um, a Phoenix? map bonus and a and a, a equipment. That's what I would do. Okay. Either way, twenty. We'll say twenty points to work with, regardless. Yeah. It could be another figure, but we'll we'll just say it's going to be equipment, location bonus, something. Mm -hmm. So we we got two eighty here. Correct. So what are we what are we what are we doing with it? Uh, well, it's a good team. What are its counters? And then what would we play, right? Um, I'm... So, 25... Or doom. <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah have, that's... I think you have to build a package for Lord Doom. What are you doing? I think this... Honestly, just thinking about it, this makes this seem a lot better. Because, like, you, he played Magneto for 25 points for leadership, so you don't really lose a ton by playing this. Magneto didn't do a ton on that team. Like, obviously, he's a little bit better than this guy, but he's not He's not what your team's built around. So just adding this guy, you get almost the same team, and then you can also, you don't have the Lord Doom matchup anymore. So, yeah, we can switch out for uh, specifically against Lord Doom. Um, if they're playing Lord Doom, you probably take off both maggots, right? Uh, I mean, you gotta end up with the same number of characters, so you're not magically gonna switch out one and then be like, "Ha ha, I can do pause right. now." Um, yeah, so you're probably switching out both <laughs> maggots. That leaves you 80 points, so maybe a 50 and a 30. Maybe you just go Dark Phoenix and the best 50 point X Men, which is I don't even know what's the best 50 point X Men. Mimic, Mimic's good. You could do the Prime Mimic. Uh, no, that's six, he's anymore. sixty. He's sixty. Yeah, yeah he's sixty. Yeah, you do sixty and. Um, uh, you could also Krakoa. I added him here because no one's done it, but that's more for the Alpha Strikey. Uh, wait, how much is Weapon Hex? Seventy-five. Seventy-five. Weapon Hex is really good. He I is. know. That's why I'm I'm sitting there thinking. But you can't Krakoa Rivaler with A. 
Uh, fair. That's the big situation. Yeah. There. Yeah. Mm. Richter's Unless... pretty good. So the problem with this team, and the, <laughs> and and what we're doing, is that you have a decent amount of lower point figures. <laughs> So, like you were saying, you can't get to a lower amount, so it's really... You don't have a lot of moving room without taking out, like, Apocalypse. 80, 100. So, like, a lot of these pieces you see here, like, with Deadpool at 100, Weapon Hex at 75, that's almost impossible to do. Yeah, it's harder to switch into bigger figures, for sure, on this team, specifically. Now, the filler pieces that we that we do have... That exist. We have the multiple mans at ten. We have the Artie and Leech. Uh, they do actually have X Men, so 20, 20 points each, I think. Yeah, they're both twenty points. So if you want a mind control or an outwit, either of them are fine. I did put them here with Wolverine. That is technically a package you can move into for ninety five points. Ooh, I like that because then Wolverine can come back. Yeah, no, you just that's got... only Fantastic Four. Yeah, which Artie and Leech both have. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. I, you got to keep one of them alive, though, and that's really hard to do because they're four clicks of, like, nothing. No defense. Yeah, but you powers. just you never act with them. You just get behind, like, a Dark Phoenix or something. Right, so that's why I'm saying, like, this... Like, I am putting this as maybe, like, a package to me of, like, I would maybe take out... I see what you're saying. So, like, wait, how many points is this? Uh, you don't even have to have both. You can oh, just you have one. Them. Yeah, yeah, so but... you would take out... Oh, they don't have leadership. That's so, so take out one and it's 95? 95 points? Mm -hmm. You would choose Leech, I guess, because he has stealth, so you can at least protect him a little better. Um, so this is the wrong one. Just for those who are watching. Uh, uh, Leech. Have Leech here and Wolverine. That's 95 points. You could take out... Well, if you uh, do like this... For 105, it would be exactly this. That's exactly 105. Mm, that but you crazy. lose the leadership? Right, you do lose leadership, which is a is a, the thing. But if you're going against Doom... Uh, you you assume... can, you can't, can you take out both faggots? No, you couldn't. Oh, you can true, true, true. Yeah. Okay, so that uh, makes you would probably point. You would probably take out Pixie, because at this point... You're this not type of team, you. Yeah, you're not taking a taxi. You need a TK. And just the TK Wolverine out, so you could switch to um, Phoenix. Probably. This Phoenix? No, you probably right. just switch to Magneto, right? Um, instead of the you don't have him here, but the rare Magneto instead of Professor X. Uh, the two by two, or is it the other one? No, just the normal uh, from House of X. The twenty five point one. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. I'll, not I'll, bad. Not bad. I'll grab him real quick. Um, yeah, you would switch out. That. So then, who would you switch out? So P Pixie's forty-five. Yep. So it would be those three. He comes in for X Men, and then these two are what? Ninety-five. Yeah. That's, oh, that's... these are only eighty-five. Eighty-five. Yeah, that that wouldn't work. No. It's harder than I thought. Well, um, I, I um, wait. Happens. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Holding? Money. That, so how much is this combo right up here? These three? Uh-huh. Uh, -huh. uh does 85... 110? 110, yeah. 110... And then we have 95 here, 105. Oh, we would need five points. Yeah, five, five points is annoying. Five points. So wait, wait, wait. Is there something? Hold Maybe on, you on. just add one multiple man to this team to make it easier to switch stuff out. Well, I thought about that, but I don't think that works. Um, oh. Not in this instance. Okay, I got it. I think I got it. And then 20. Okay, you could do this. Follow me here. Oh, wait, I didn't I didn't have him on there. We had multiple men on there. Where, do, where did the heat come from? 
don't know what you're talking about. Magneto. So we were switching in Magneto, this guy, and this guy, right? Man, uh, ma yeah. math is hard, guys. <laughs> math is hard. Yeah. 95, 25 uh, is 120. So we're at 120 is what we what we want to bring in. You and, brought out. and this is 105? 110. So we're 10 points off. So we need to switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. That's it. So we just do this. Uh, 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 uh. Oop. This, that. Take this. Wait. We're switching these, right? No. The top is what we're taking off. Right. Well, he's not on the starting team. I know you would have to put a twenty-point figure on the starting team. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's good. <laughs> because uh, that's the tricky part. So I guess this combo may not work. I mean, because of the leadership that you need, which is the problem with. I mean, you could just leave Professor X there. He provides the. No, I. You're never playing that Professor X because you're always switching in Magneto. They're the exact same points, and that one has leadership. So, I, you never played this piece. One has TK, the other one. No, it is, he does not have TK. Oh, well, he's the energy the energy exploding one? Yeah. Gotcha. And he's like a pseudo retail, but he has, you know, he's got leadership, he's got better stats. You just right. him. So, you're always swapping out for the one by one rare. I think so, unless somebody wants to play Professor, or like if you switch to somebody else, like another leadership at X Men, which again, there's not very many. Oh, the good have, ones, huh? at least. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking through all of these, and I don't see anybody else as leadership. You know, as leadership, Blackheart. Blackheart's so good. Mm hmm. But he is not an X Man. Yeah, maybe X Men. Because, again, X-Men doesn't have as many, like, silver bullet pieces, right? To me. Um, maybe... So maybe, maybe, maybe Brad's team is the wrong way we need to go about building to? Like, may, does Brad's team need to be, like, an end result? Um, I Maybe, but I will say that if, if Brad ever plays that team again or anything like it, it it's going to be this because he was playing this piece for leadership. So you're always going to do this and then switch out. And it just gives you more options. So it's always going to do that. You know what right. I mean? Well, this is the big question mark, I think. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, if anybody ever plays a team, if anybody ever plays an X-Men team and uses this piece for leadership, they will now forever use this piece on that team you know, forever in perpetuity because it just makes it gives you options and at the very least you just switch them out again at the beginning of the game for no penalty yeah and this piece was played a lot on x-men teams for leadership so you it, it just automatically makes x-men better but how much better because we don't have a you know there's not actually a ton of good pieces apparently well i guess um, that's the other question the only good x-men team that has come out so far is the alpha strike maggot-esque team since house of x has dropped yeah like we haven't gotten another like we have two sets worth of figures and we've had one meta team come out of it generally like um, we've had we had a brotherhood-esque team for a bit but x-men in general has only had the one um, the big thing that you can do on this team now is you don't have to main board Bishop. You can only bring him in if you really need him. That, that's a bonus, right? Um, but it would be at the cost of a, a, a maggot. Um, probably a pixie. Um, just lose your taxi. Uh, I guess a range team, that might be worth it. I guess what? You move up with the phoenixes to carry the maggots? Yeah, you could do that. That'd be fine. Um, be a decent alpha, and you're protecting like if it's a Batman-focused team or something like that. 
Um, like, are there any other pieces out here? Because we, the three of between the three of us, we're not super big X Men players, like yeah. just in general. Um, outside of this maggot team, is there re really anything besides Dark Phoenix that's tickling your fancy, if you will, like that you're like, oh yeah, Old Man Phoenix or Richter? Or, like, there's not a lot of pieces out here that I'm like, oh, yeah, we should I'm build a team. I'm excited to play. Yeah, that I'm like, oh, yeah, we need to switch into. Yeah, now. they're all on the main force right now. <laughs> now, I will say one thing. I think we're... Um, that we are under rating a bit is the um, the two mimics. Um, uh, I, the one mimic. I, I think the prime is good. Yeah, I think the know. other the other one I think is good too. Well, we can mm. definitely talk about those. We'll go over our preview for the mimic. So yeah, prime mimic. Um, you know we previewed this uh, last weekend. Um, so he's pretty cool. He's he's at 150 points. He's at 60 points. So two different point lines. You really, it's. I don't really want to go through all the powers he has listed on his dial because, man, he's got. He kind of goes lot. back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but his main thing is that with the rally die, free remove mimics rally die and choose a displayed standard power friendly character within range can use, and he could just use that chosen power this game. So, those get stack. Um, and you might be thinking, oh, rally points. Well, who knows? Rally die. That's only when your opponent rolls a five. Because it is an opposing attack rolls for him. But we do have Moira, who could just give him one at the beginning of the game. So yeah. that's pretty big. He also has the trait that he can use the displayed standard attack and damage powers of adjacent characters. Which is great. <laughs> yeah, and then on his 150-point dial and his 60 dial, he and throughout his dial, he has a special movement power, Charge Flurry Plasticity. So... This guy's loaded. I feel like, like I actually really like him. Even Me at too. sixty, even at sixty points, he's got five clicks. He's only got eighteen super senses. But if you build right, that you could start stacking powers. I feel like pretty yeah. quickly. And yeah, and, you could just sit next to somebody that has shape change, and you have and, both. Yeah, and he's got. I mean, he and he can be equipped, right? So yeah. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you can yeah, equip, he's super you, good. You can equip him with shape change, or you give know. him Galactus if you really want to on either dial. Yeah. Oh, true. And then you can't outwit any of his the stuff he's gained. So he yeah, just... he might be a really good Galactus um, target. Right, but yeah, uh, on top. To, I think he's pretty good at 150 too. He charge flurry 13 five. That's not bad. But yeah, you know, he's got close general, combat like, expert. So I think yeah. for our purposes here that we're talking about though is mm -hmm. he can't be replaced. He can't be replaced if he's got, got, got Galactus. Oh, true. Forgot about that. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Well, uh, I'm saying also you could also play him on the main team, right? And just have oh, him as you know we're yeah. we're generally trying to build X Men teams because it's we're you know we're struggling a little bit trying to figure out uh, outside of this maggot team that we built, mm -hmm. trying to find okay what is there any archetypes that we could start with and switch mm -hmm. and mimic it because of his flexibility. He might be someone you could just have on your main team the entire time, and he could flex into whatever you need him to be a long range shooter because he's got a decent range an eight range. Yeah. That's that's really good. Uh, he he'll he would need a running shot or something that he could get from somebody. But if you try to build around him like 150 points and then have Professor X and then use professor x to bring in the different figures to give him different powers right that's an option because you so you could use that to build around him so i think, uh, I, think, I, the, think... Uh, I think the only thing that's sad for me just in general mm -hmm. is that um emperor gladiator is also a prime because... yep you're gonna play both of them well i would be cool <laughs> do they even team uh no well in this swap out scenario they would because emperor gladiator does have right. cr yes because yeah. you're, you're you're segueing into the fact that we now know what emperor gladiator 
Uh, well, yeah, we can. Yes and no. I was. I'm just. Saying, I've got the realm screen pulled up with the unit section. So. Well, he's another like very valid swap target, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because he is, um, very awesome. He's very awesome. But he's so cool. I now I don't want to jump too much on the Emperor Gladiator hype train, and here's why. The, the majority of his thing, though, with the confidence tokens, is he's got to hit first. Yeah. I mean, he's got it. Right, he's got seven movement running shot with eight range. It's it's pretty easy to do. He's got full map with a TK. Um, right. And he can shoot through blocking, which is pretty huge. Right. So I agree. So, I, that, I agree that he should be able to get first hit. But is he, there's is he also cosmic? this. Uh, he's cosmic yeah. imperial guard ruler Shi'ar soldier. <laughs> um, Great keywords. But the problem is, is that like he just competes with the secret six, right? So if he loses map to the secret six, uh, he's just going to get all of the rest of the team is going to get destroyed before he. Yeah, he, you you can always if I I don't know if it's good enough, but there is that trick. Where you can give him like the mind gem and you know mind control gene to make him start with the token. Yeah, that, that's why I was asking really if good. he was cosmic. He's a ruler. Both are cosmic. Uh, yeah, she... ruler or cosmic? cosmic? No, yeah, she is cosmic. Jean Grey's not cosmic, is she? No, yeah, she is. Yeah, no, she's just. Whoa! She just, she just doesn't have that. She doesn't have X Men. She has Hellfire. So that's yeah. you couldn't do the swippy swappy unless you were trying to play both Magneto and. Yeah, but then you're not theming so. Right, yeah, so well, theme, so. but then again, if you're willing to do that trick, your half your build is built into Emperor Gladiator and Jean Grey. You so. know what's funny though yeah. is now that you know we, we've got two more things to talk about, um, but I, I just had a thought, and give me, give me, I just, I just uh -oh. had a crazy thought. I want to reread Professor X real quick. <laughs> okay. Um. Do you need us to stall while you read no, into it? No, so at the beginning... Oh. Oh, okay. Eureka. Maybe. So, <laughs> Professor X and Magneto can both become Avengers. Yes. That's a lot of points to make that happen. Though. Well, no, I mean, because Steve Rogers is good. But you can replace your Avengers. No. Yes. No, all replacement and replace oh, characters. Oh, okay. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. That was my thought. So all replacement and replace characters must have the X-Men Shi'ar Illuminati keywords. Okay. That was a sweet dream there for like two minutes. Well, You might be able to do it if there's somebody with Avengers and one of those keywords. Probably so you Wolverine. Do Avengers theme. <laughs> like a, like a <laughs> probably Wolverine. something like that. Yeah. Um, Alright, so speaking of dreams. Alright, so... Uh, we talked about the Emma Hellfire Club, and this is our second half of this recording. Um, mm -hmm. So we've we've done we've had a busy weeks. So we're about four days out from the original recording. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Learned a lot. I finally started building, and I'm very excited yeah, about this. Yeah, very excited about this. And uh, Daniel's also not as tired as he was on Sunday. Um, but he has had more time to think about this. So, uh, which um, which Emma are we talking about? What's her number? Um, was it the rare Emma? Know. Is she like? Yeah, it's the rare from House of X. I don't know what her number is. Yeah, forty. Okay. So, so team up, Hellfire Club theme team. So if Emma is a part of the listed theme, so I mean she has to start on the map. She has to start on, on your, a Hellfire team. On a Hellfire Club theme team, you may use the following effect. At the beginning of the game, friendly characters gain the X-Men keyword. After revealing forces, mm -hmm. you may replace card, character cards with their alternate. Um, so, given the fact that if Emma's on the main force, that triggers. So, mm -hmm. you are able to swap out, uh, if you win map, okay, disclaimer number one, because if you lose map, your opponent can make you do these things in the other in the order that's disadvantageous to you. No, right? We discussed that, and that's not true. It always triggers. It always triggers. And no, it's still disadvantageous because you uh, they can make you not give certain people 
Like they can make the Hellfire thing happen. And yeah, they'll then... activate Emma's thing first and then the swamp. Yeah, so your swap people won't have X Men. So maybe they won't though, be able to revive. if they don't listen to clicks off, you know, wink, wink. Maybe they will switch out Emma first, thinking that her thing doesn't activate, and then you're like, okay, now I'm going to activate Emma's power, and they all get X Men. They know she's off the board, but no. Sounds, sounds like one of those gotcha moments. <laughs> it does. It does. We are... Hey, we're trying to inform people. If they don't watch clicks <laughs> off, that is on them. <laughs> that, is, that is their. That is their thing. Yeah. Now, I, to be fair, I've had stuff like that where the opponent was like, um, and they're like, you know, I don't know, maybe it was a part of Valor or something, but they were like, no, I want to fight your team at full power. Do your swap outs the most advantageous way. Oh, it was uh, it was Jalen. Jalen was like, yes, roll your DJ Doom dice first before you swap Dooms. And I'm like, oh, bold. I don't do that. Bold. Yeah, it was bold. Um, it, I still swapped them out. Um, <laughs> I, it, it never worked out. Double DJ Dooms never rolled out well for me. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so let's talk about why that's good, right? So if Emma just doesn't get swapped out, swapping mm-hmm. in Danger Room Magneto and Danger Room Sabretooth to be able to be Krakoan revived is really freaking awesome. Now, the issue that we run into, and I, I'm just paraphrasing everything that we've talked about, right? So this was a this was a collaborative effort with all of Team Clickstock, right? I'm just mm-hmm. kind of spitting it all out here for the for the show here. Um, so the Magneto specifies um, that he can swap out Hellfire Club. Um, Sorry, it's loading on the rounds. What is it? Hellfire Club. Acolytes Brotherhood. Acolytes Brotherhood. So those three things don't have very good Krakoan revivers. Right? So it pretty much comes down to what? Emma? Kate Pride? Well, no. They, the problem is they have Krakoan revivers, but Krakoan revival only works on X-Men. Yeah. Right, but we're giving them the keyword. That's what I'm saying. That the good part is not gaining Krakoan revivers on Hellfire. The good part is giving all of these figures X Men. That's no, no, the cool uh, thing. I think we're saying I think we're saying two different things. Okay. The, the problem. Well, like which I, which Krakoan revival I, what piece I'm, are you? What getting? I'm trying to say is that the Krakoan revivers that mm-hmm. are eligible for the swap out aren't that great. For okay. a for kind of a don't die sort of team. Yeah, you have what the Emma, you have Kate Pride, you have um, um, the, the new, new Exodus. Exodus. Yes. Yeah. Um, and that and that's about it, right? Yeah, they're higher points, higher point ones. Right. So now let's talk about what the dream would be. There's also, now, I think, uh, Alex, you went through and looked at a few things. There's no isotope uh, E swap outs yet. Uh, There's one with Magneto, I think. Maybe. Or no, I think. Yeah, I think um, it was a higher point one, though. Yeah, it wasn't. It was, I think, 125 or something. Yeah. Maybe right. and, and there remember. might be there might be uh, other small ones like nothing of significance. Let's yeah. just say that. Right. So like it, there might be a there, beast. Now there might something. be something. Now there might be something there that we're missing. I would like to just say that out loud, right? Like you know we're not conclusive. I'm gonna say there's definitely something we're missing. Yeah, there's because this is oh, there's yeah, a lot. Here. There's a lot, right? But what I think that I that we found pretty conclusively. That there's no way to get Chase Apocalypse onto the team, right? Because because, because Emma I, because ideally Chase A revive a uh, Chase A as a don't die piece, being able to very re- good. being able to revive don't die Danger Room Mags and Sabretooth would be really cool. So that's the dream, and I don't think we can fulfill the dream yet. That doesn't mean that this interaction is not good. We just haven't quite figured it out yet. Yeah, the the big thing is that basically now you can Krakoan Revival 
um, Brotherhood of Mutants and Acolytes, if you care about that, pieces. And when you couldn't before. That's the big thing. Yes. And that is... Uh, and, yeah. And then, I mean, obviously, again, I keep talking about the Danger Rooms, right? That's the... Those are the... Those are the big daddies to revive, right? I mean, yeah. you know, even, um, even reviving something like, if you want bigger points, reviving like Juggernaut is not, you know, inconsequential. Well, um, she can't do that. The only person that can is Mystique. Right. Uh, and But Mystique is Brotherhood. Yeah. So you could, uh, you could swap a bunch of shit around and make that happen, I guess, but also just revive your double black hearts maybe hmm? yeah. sounds pretty pretty okay that sound that sounds tasty to me <laughs> <laughs> i like the way that tastes all right next thing that i want to talk about is um two pieces um that fit really well are we are we just we're still like you're, you're in the room alex yeah i mean i'm, I'm in the room I'm, yeah. yeah yeah i'm in the okay room. Well, Alex is recording, right? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not recording. Okay. I, am, okay. I, am, okay. I am definitely recording. Um, all right, so... We don't have him here, I don't think. Oh, I'm going to go back to the other room. The Hellfire room real quick. Okay, switching to the, the Magneto room. Switching to the Magneto room. Um, so something that is really good um, is that... Um, so let's say on your team you have... Uh, Dark Phoenix, and you have a... Where's Mimic? Uh, Mimic's in the other room. Oh, is he not on? It... Oh, the oh, Prime is... isn't here. Yes, it is. It's right here. Uh, we're in the Magneto room. Oh, just kidding. Here, I'll bring him. <laughs> I'll bring him. Ta-da! Anyway, you have Dark Phoenix and a 60-point piece, let's say. Um, any 60 point piece will do All right you have you have these on your main force mm -hmm. um so what you can do is for this like these two right here specifically you can do other stuff obviously but you don't start them on your main force so you would actually so these two are 90 points together um who you would actually start with actually it would be 65 points i would need how many points are these 60 90. 90. anyway 90. Yeah, so you would start with um, Magneto, and you would start with... Where is she? Oh, Kate. Did you bring her in? Kate. Kate, yeah. Kate's up at the very top. I've got her. Aha! Right, you would start with these two, who are... Oh, I did the math wrong on this. Anyway, <laughs> basically, you start with Kate Pride, and you start with Magneto. Yes. Um, And you could swap them out and bring some something else in. The big thing is Kate Pride. Right. Um, has a beginning game effect. I'm, I'm pulling her up over here real quick just so they can see the yeah. hog. Um, so she has the beginning game effect where she creates a Lockheed token. Um, it's beginning of game, so you just you can create it. If Now, this is assuming that you win map. Um, if you win map, you just create Lockheed, and then you switch her out for any other you know 65-point piece. Let's say like her and Magneto are 105. So you could do like a 75 point piece and a 30 point piece. Yeah, that makes more sense. So yes. if you have like a, yeah, a Dark Phoenix and a Blackheart on your team. Right. Right. You don't start with these guys. You just swap them out. You put in these two on your starting force and then you swap them out every game almost. And it just, you just get a free Lockheed. Um, so that's very good. Lockheed is a great pog. It's, um, you know, it's just a free perplex essentially. Right. Um, you're getting a perplex for nothing. And, it, and, if, um, it, and do... if it doesn't work out, it's not like lo missing out on Lockheed. You still get good options, right? You can just keep Kate and get Lockheed, or you yeah. can just swap Kate and not have Lockheed, right? Because most likely, yeah, you... uh, uh, Lockheed is the icing on a delicious cake, right? It, mm. or, uh, nah, nah, you know, because you don't want your cake without icing. That's not a good one. It's like uh, it's like sprinkles on a delicious Sunday. A Sunday's still good without the sprinkles. Well, yeah, so, like, you literally lose nothing. If you ever have 105 points on your team, so, like, as a, this, this, these two pieces on your team, you would never, you would always start with these two pieces because it's, at the worst, you always get the two pieces you originally had back, and at the best case, you get a free pop. So it, it loses you nothing, except technically it loses you two sideline spaces, but um, it's probably worth the trade-off. 
Um, and then I, <laughs> so I went on to realms and I basically did the advanced search where I searched every keyword and in the special power, I did beginning of game like effects, you know, at the beginning of game or whatever the wording is. Yeah. And the only, the only other one I found who's probably not in here is, um, uh, Madrox yeah, at a hundred. I've got him. I've got him. Up. Okay. Madrox at a hundred, um, gives you the Madrox, uh, dupe bystander. Which is not as good as Kate's, but it's um, you know, it's it's an empower pog, and again, if the points add up, you're just always including this. So, his is him and um, Professor X. So that's a 125 point combo, or you know, 225 if you are playing like a Juggernaut or um, a Magnet, some some a big figure. Right. Um, right. If you have things that add up to that, and that's really easy, right? Like a 75 point piece and a, and a 50 point piece is, is 125. Then you just get a free, yeah. uh, a free Paul. So power. just be aware of the point values for that. Yeah. If you're playing any of these keywords. Right. Uh, and then other beginning game effects. Are, we, are you good with that Tyler? I think so. Okay. Those are the only two that I found that <laughs> right. I think work, but we're so, going to talk about it. We're going to talk about one that we don't know exactly mm -hmm. how it works. Uh, we don't know. We know that it works, but we're not sure what the outcome is. Mm -hmm. Right. I don't think it works. Okay. So, <laughs> but I, we'll so, talk about it. So at the beginning of the game, and this is again assuming that you win map. Right. So the, mm -hmm. I've got him pulled up. It's the Savage Land Magneto. Uh, at the beginning of the game, roll a d6, one through two, an opponent that chooses one of their characters. You choose one. Uh, three through six. All right, so that triggers beginning of the game if he starts on the main force, right? We know that he can be swapped out, right? Because he's got the X-Men keyword. Um, so can you, and make sure I said this right, you would swap him out and then roll the die for the Savage Land or... Uh, no, you, you roll first. You roll first. And then put him on his card, and then you swap him out. Now, I think the only thing in that order of things is, can he be swapped out if he's on his card versus on the map? Oh, no, I'm so sorry. No, no, you, you got it backwards. Because right. he, can, he okay. cannot be switched if he's on his card, because you cannot replace. Replacement means you have to have a square. Okay, so, yeah, you, so re what... you replace him first, then you get to roll? Yes, because he was on the map when beginning of game started. That's the argument. So right. beginning of game happens, he was there, so his trigger, of uh, his effect happens. But you switch him out before that effect actually happens. Like so you switch a... him to a different person. There's a few ways this could work. Um, the first is that they just say, you can't do this for whatever reason because you can't place him like on the card from your sideline. They could rule it like that. I don't, there's no precedent there. So I'm not sure. Right. Uh, the best case scenario is that you switch him out with another 65 point piece, like gate pride or something else. And then, um, then after he's on your sideline, you're going to roll for his trait. Let's say you get a five or six, you're going to place him on your card and you're going to place somebody on the other team on their card. So now you have a full 300 point team on the map and they're down a 75 point piece for three turns. And then best case scenario, assuming rulings, because we don't know how this is going to work. Three turns later, they get their original piece back, go up to 300 points. You then get Magneto on your, on the board because that's what his trait says you do. And then you're up a 65 point piece, not a great 65 point piece. Cause it just starts without wit, but, um, Worst yep. case, absolute worst case scenario is they say beginning a game doesn't work like this at all, and if you replace a character, their effect doesn't actually happen. That's the absolute worst case scenario. So yeah, that, actually, that, would, that would that would shut down Emma as well. But that would shut down so much. I'd, yeah, that'd be that'd but be a whole I, yeah. different game. Yeah, that'd be, yeah, that'd but be, if I'm, think, if I'm thinking, of, yeah, that'd be a whole bunch of different scenarios there, right? But but I'm also thinking intent. Like if you're thinking of how the game should work. Sure, your character's there at the beginning of the game, but they're gone well, now. So, so their effect shouldn't happen. Here's the Either way, here's the it's best, unlikely to happen. Yeah, here's the best that we can hope for, is that us talking about it on this recording 
will trigger discussion with the right folks to get a ruling made, right? Um, yeah. Now, what I want to be clear about is that you know we don't necessarily we we don't necessarily you know it's not a hard line. By gummy, we say this is how it works. This is mm-hmm. just how we understand it to work to the best of our knowledge. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, I we- think right now I would say it definitely works in the best case scenario because at reading the rules and his trait, that is what happens. But I think that <laughs> that seems broken to me. So I think that a ruling will probably come out saying that you can't place him from your sideline onto his card or something like that. I'm not sure what they would do. Um, because an, that, effect, an effect would probably have to explicitly say, like his effect doesn't say, like it doesn't say from the map to his card. No, it doesn't. It just, it just says, the card. right. Right. So, so I don't know if they will say, well, it doesn't, while it doesn't say he has to be on the map, it doesn't explicitly say that he's allowed to come from the sideline onto the map. Because, mm-hmm. A lot of a lot of things that work when they're on the sideline have to or, say from the sideline. So. Maybe this is just broken and gets an errata. That could be right. We, I, I, we will, I will say, I will say though, anybody that's thinking about playing this, please check, check in your, your judge, judge first. Please, this we is don't not want to be gotcha, the cause of that. You don't want this to be a gotcha moment, and then you find out that they ruled it, yeah, and not in your favor, and then it just doesn't work, and you're out. A uh, sixty, like it was just a waste. Yeah, but like you, so, you can mitigate that though. You having said all of that, this still makes this piece, which was already fringe, much more playable because you just add them to your team, and if they have a really key seventy-five point points piece like you know, Blackheart or Sky Tyrant, or something. yeah, Sky Tyrant, something like that, He's you, 50, you switch right? them out. And if they don't, if they have nobody that you care about switching out, then you just switch this guy out for a great piece, like. Yeah, you know, sixty-five yeah. would be, like I said, K Pride or, or something else. I do mimic, feel maybe. I do feel really bad that I don't remember his name at the moment, um, but he is a listener okay. to the show. I played against him a while back, and he played two mm-hmm. Savage Land Magnetos. Oh my god, he, wow. that's awesome! Yeah, I mean, and you know, he took out my Batman and like a, a Mandarin. I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure it was two Savage Land Magnetos. Um, man if I <laughs> so I, I've been like testing or not testing but building in my head with two black hearts if I ran into two of these guys I, just, I would just be screwed right so now he also played like metric shit ton of dark phoenixes and iceman I like that right for the for the rest of his team mm-hmm. um, and I think there was like um, uh, the other Kate pride from Regenesis with the dragon. Um, so he would just like get really aggressive trying to KO the rest of your team with Dark Phoenixes and, mm-hmm. you know, Lockheeds and stuff. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, I, I mean, that was cool, right? I mean, because, you know, I ended up winning because my I just stayed alive just long enough uh, to get Batman back. And then I side blasted his entire team on Hedge Maze. So that was a thing. Um, sure. But it, it was really inventive, right? So this Magneto is fringe, right? And something like this comes along where he's actually broken and has a really cool interaction like this. Uh, I am I mean, I'm down. I mean, I'm, I'm totally yeah. down, right? I mean, it, uh, so uh, just, just for, I haven't told you guys this as we've been recording. I, I, I've kept my Invisible Woman team up on the uh, build, build box. Mm-hmm. And if I ran into... Uh, Savage Land Magneto, and they took my Invisible Woman and my Wolverine away, so all I had was one Invisible Woman yeah. to try to survive for three turns. Uh, That's funny. I mean, because I, I do plan on, you know, having Wolverine attack on this team, and if he's just mm-hmm. gone for three turns, that's a problem. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Yeah, that's cool. This, uh... It definitely gets your mind thinking about building, which I like a lot. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. There's so many possibilities. Like we said, we took a four-day break, and we thought about, like, eight new things in that time frame, uh, just, like, building and things like that. So uh, it's really cool. Um, it's going to take a lot of work if you're going to play any of these keywords. 
because you have so many options. And I feel like probably I'm safe to say this. If you're playing any of these teams, like keywords, you're probably wrong to not have these guys on your starting force because you can always switch them out. It, it's just like a, like, like I said, on X-Men, they don't have much leadership. They were always playing that Magneto. Now you never play that Magneto on your main force ever. You always play this at Professor right. X. So, right. yeah, yeah, stuff like that. You're probably like, if you're building these teams and you're if any of the keywords, the six keywords, and you're not playing Professor X or Magneto, I would encourage you to look deeper because you're probably building wrong. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. You know what? So I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of on realms here. Um, oh. I guess so. Just at the beginning of the game, have the uh, Ellie Deadpool from the new set. Yeah, I th I wasn't sure on that. Yeah, I don't I don't Be know if that because is, because if that Deadpool's not there, what reference? I don't know if his trait's still active. Right. But if he dies, is it still there? I thought it was because it, it doesn't say that even if Deadpool's not there. No, but it says this game. I don't know what the I don't know what the wording has right. to be for that to stay active. Right. So I, I wasn't sure on that one. It's not like a huge deal, but he's a he's a good point value, like sixty. If you're playing Mimic, you probably just throw him on there if that works to get that bonus. Right, because then you um, just and it could get, come in clutch for yeah, you. I mean you just give the friendly <clears throat> right, yeah. So you yeah, just, if you it works <laughs> you just get so, again, bags, right? if it works. Yeah. Time out. So. For the rest of the game, or this game, is a duration that means until the end of the current game, and is assumed to include the phrase, even if lost. Okay, Ooh. so then it would work. So, this game from the characters has yeah. the listed effects. So yeah, that should work. Even if that, even if that power is lost, because it says this game. If it said this turn, then you would only have it the turn, and then once the character's gone. So it, it works. There you go. Yeah. Right. So, so like, if you're yeah. playing something like Mimic, who is 60 points, you should probably not be starting one of your main force. You should probably be playing this guy. Yeah, and then like, so I mean, you could just potentially give uh, Dark Phoenix plus one damage, or you know, free heal your Mimic heal two up, clicks. or yeah. just get Wing Symbol on something for a turn. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of just doing a little bit of random clicking here um, on a couple of things. Yeah, a lot of people like heal. Again, I went through all of them. I wasn't sure if that one worked or the Magneto, which is why I didn't bring them up. But right. uh, yeah, you could just search um, the keywords in the beginning of game effects and see a lot of stuff. That's what I got. Mm -hmm. Madrox and things like that. So, so yeah. I think so. I think the the main thing I'm looking at now when it comes to X Men that I think we have that we have some ideas for, but we also some somehow don't have full ideas for right what like... was the so hold on one more thing what was the uh <laughs> sorry sorry what was the who's the gal that uh brings the robot for free trinary. oh yeah trinary we didn't talk it's about not her, for but... free it's just she doesn't yeah, robots yeah. don't count against the right. <laughs> but that's obviously incredible because now you can just bring in fulcrum to an x-men team and with the new theme teams you you know, you don't have to have the the keyword when you swap them out. So he gets all the effects of the um, the theme team, which is kind of moot because it's <laughs> the theme team props and he already has it, but um, it's not a negative to your team. And, and there's she's, probably a... and she's not also subject to the worry about uh, who's first or who's second. Her power goes off when establishing theme right. teams. So yeah. it's, you may choose a friendly character with the robot keyword of fifty points or less. That character doesn't count against theme team, so it'll, you won't get the plus one to because of an X Men. Yeah, just don't count against theme. So like on an X Men team, you play her and you play Fulcrum, and then at the beginning of the game you switch her out for Dark Phoenix. You know, Fulcrum and Dark Phoenix on your, on your X Men team. That seems pretty good. Yep. So is um is there any way to make Trinary Hellfire Club? Uh, uh no, no. I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. No. Well, so what is um. The only other thing that sinister, right? Because he can do keyword stuff, and I think one of them matches. I think it's the bad one, though. Um, no, Hellions, Marauders, Weapon X. No, none. Okay, never mind. He doesn't give any of them the the ones that we need because it's the acolytes that we need. 
Oh, you're talking about the rise and fall, Mr. Sinister, the new one? Uh, yeah, the new Mr. Sinister. Yeah. Um, so, like, you could add one of these pieces onto, you know, you, right. like, you could add Magneto onto a Marauders team if you're building Marauders and then right. switch out an Acolyte or something. Right. So then, uh, so Alex, you were saying that we don't really have a X-Men so we don't main have... force that we like? in general so like we've we've built the we have the maggot team that we built based off of you know brad's team a bit from mm -hmm. uh from the pure clicks for huntington event the tulsa event you know he's been playing this type of maggot team but this team isn't really conducive to switching out as well you know as we found out like we tried to switch some pieces and you can make it work but it's kind of it's a little funky at times mm -hmm. so what is just a solid like what some solid teams that we could generally say, okay, we want to switch into, or we want to build with X Men in general, or with Shiar, or whatever, because we're finding all these different pieces and we're saying, oh, you could do this with Mimic, or you could do that. But what is a what is a what's a final Mimic team? What's a final Emperor Gladiator well, team? So like think, what is what are you looking at for those? I think just do something simple, right? At this point, right? I like what Tyler just said, right? So the base would be Professor X, Trianary, Fulcrum, Dark Phoenix. So moving everything. So I would start there. So Professor X said Dark Phoenix. We don't have Fulcrum here, but uh, <laughs> no, trying to Dark Phoenix is on the side, like you were saying. Oh, you're not running a man for it. Well, you could still, but um, so how many points is that then? Well, it's uh, 25, 50, 80. So you still have 220 points left. So well, you're not building a team. <laughs> you're building the you're building the rest of the team. We're worried about the other the 200 points. Well, so let's start with that, right? So where do you have a trinary, Alex, or no? She's up there. Which one is she? Isn't she? Is she the? She's this one. She's the red one. I don't want to spell professor. Right that's here. embarrassing. That one? That's trinary. Yeah, that's trinary. I mean, I'm sure I have like two dozen trinaries. I just have no idea what they look like. Yeah, and, and keep in mind, we you only switch out five people. So I, I'm just thinking like, okay, we, we've got all these cool options. We found all these neat things. Okay, well, when do we know who to switch to who? Like, what's our end game with some of this? Like, we had the maggot team, but the maggot team didn't work because you have to main force a maggot and then switch into maggot or something like that because right. you have two of them. My issue that continues to pop up with the maggot team is the transporter. Like, I just... Pixie, you just lose so many points. Hey, Pride's so good, guys. But more for Hellfire Club, I feel like. Mm, maybe so i think she's a solid attacker or i mean taxi and support she does a lot of stuff well no better because the steel energy thing is only for health oh, steel energy and hard. pirate yeah True. i would rather have pixie for less points save that 20 points i mean what if we play that else. wolverine team right so like it would be kate pride wolverine wolverine is what like 185 oh, points dude, you're thinking of the, the, the krakoan revival one that we've kind of talked about a little bit um not I mean, it would be Krakow and Revival, but I was just thinking of she can carry them up, and then they're all they're all stealth on an X Men team. That's which you know, that's which Wolverine solid. are we talking about for the, the listeners? The common, right? right? So let's so let me I'm building. But wait, wait, right? which I'm building. which one are we talking about? <laughs> the the okay. good one from House of X. Yeah, because there's like a common Wolverine in every X Men set. <laughs> that's so. true. That's fair. Um. This, uh, is yes, it... it is the common Wolverine. Sixty points. Uh, Fulcrum, Justice League. Oh, that's all right. It's f it's not Fulcrum. It's Fulcrum. Fulcrum. I know, but I don't care because that auto corrects the Fulcrum every time, so I might call him Fulcrum. Uh, yeah, I guess Fulc Fulcrum. Fuck him. No. The, nope. <laughs> the <laughs> Justice League. <laughs> fuck him, Obama. Uh, uh, fuck him, Obama. So like a team <laughs> that's two ninety five would be Kate Pride, Wolverine, Wolverine. Dark Phoenix, Trinary, Professor X. All right, so hang and on. Let, let, I'm, I'm building this up here. So you're saying two Wolvies, right? Because uh, you like that Wolverine. That is a good Wolverine, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. It's could be better, but it's still good. 
Okay. So, Kate, so that puts you at, yeah, I mean, I think that that's it, right? Kate Pride puts you at 265 and then run it. Do you want three retail, though? Um, Maybe not. Maybe you could go with two. Um, but then what are you doing with the 35 points? Right, so let's talk about that 35 points. Um, yeah, I guess that's fair. <laughs> is there a 75 point X-Men we're really excited about? Uh, yeah, Hex, Weapon Hex. Weapon Hex, yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, dude. That solves my problem. <laughs> cool. Uh, uh, cool. Or no, you probably switch out. Not one of the Wolverines is probably Mimic. Maybe. I mean, it depends on... It just depends. Right? I don't know. It's a, it's a depends. Again. So Mimic, if you carry... So if you carry them up, those two, Mimic would get Precision Strike for free because he's adjacent. He would get Exploit. Um, that's pretty good. Charge, Flurry, Precision Strike, Exploit. <laughs> Seems fine. Mm -hmm. um, you would get Prob from Kate. Um, she has Precision Strike too, so it kind of overlaps, but uh, that's just free. You would just get that by by being adjacent. Mm-hmm. It's pretty oh. solid. So do we like the idea of two Wolverines, Cape Pride, Dark Phoenix, and Weapon Hex? Or is that uh, a better 75 point? Wait, what do you what what was the team? Two your two Wolverines. Uh-huh. Cape Pride for some reason. <laughs> uh Krakoan Revival. Down. That's what it is. You want the Krakoan Revival. I want a taxi. That's Krakoan uh, Revival. But her Krakoan Revival doesn't work for Weapon Hex, unfortunately. Um right. I don't know where you're getting Weapon Hex. You, I just asked, what's a good seventy-five point X Men? And you said Weapon Hex. Well, yeah, but the team that's not, so the team that I oh, have is Kate Pride Wolverine. So the thirty-five Kate. points, the thirty-five points doesn't really matter because we can swap. No, you can't do two for one. Gosh dang it! Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's that right. That sucks because yeah. like twenty-five and thirty-five. If you could swap out random thirty-five point. X Men and Professor well, no. X, you could get so mimic. mimic. That's where Mimic comes in. Yeah, you could you could get um, uh, ten point and a fifty point. That's fine, right? Oh, Just and then I can equip him. This is awesome. I like this now. All right, All hang, right. On, hang on, Alex. I've here. got a team. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, All please right. the team because I'm confused. Yeah, so well, let's finish this one. So multiple man gets you a fifty five point X Men. Wait, no, I. <laughs> Tell me the team. All right, so Trinary, Justice League, Fulcum, uh huh, Professor X, Wolverine, Wolverine, Kate. That leaves you with thirty-five points, right? So Trinary, oh, okay. Trinary even swaps out for Dark Phoenix. Professor X. Plus, well, it does plus thirty-five. We point, need to plus thirty-five a... point X Men gets you multiple man and a fifty-point X Men. Oh, that's it. That's it. All right, let me get the thirty-five point X Men, and I'm just. It could be cipher. I know. Uh, is that a thirty-five point X Men? You just did. You just throw out a random name. No, no, no it's it's cipher. Thirty-five point X Men. All right, I know. It's, right, it's just I'm funny. Just, like you had that at the ready. I'm like, just going, it's cipher. I'm just going to. Pro he's... I'm just going to project here. Okay. Okay. All right. Here's the team. <laughs> Trinary, and I've got it up on the realms build box. Trinary. Justice We're League. not using these rooms. <laughs> That's fine. This is good. Okay. okay. Justice League. Falcon. Professor mm -hmm. X. Wolverine. Wolverine. Mm -hmm. Kate Pride. Cipher. You swap out Trinary for Dark Phoenix. Professor X and Cipher go out for Multiple Man and Legacy Card Super Rare Cyclops because he's going to be a badass. Uh, you can't Will he do be? that because we don't know. I'm projecting happy thoughts here, okay? <laughs> he's got to manifest it. Yeah, I mean, even if he's... I mean, that's a pretty damn good choice if he's anything close to what he was before. I don't... I never liked that that piece. I, I think you're all nuts. All right, so that's my... I, I, <laughs> so hold on. For what it's worth, we can just say that's okay for now. Right, like that's there's that's, there's that, got yeah I agree. There, there's there's got to be a fifty point X Men though. It's good, right? Yeah, I'm sure there's a ton, but fifty I mean, point. But keep in mind, you get to Krakoan revive Cyclops, and then he gets a free attack because you hurt him. Oh, that does help. That's true. Right, so um, the free attack is huge. You can Krakoan revive him to get a free attack off, and that might include his Cyblast, his you know 
other things that he has that he could have, I guess. You could also switch out for something like Bishop and Iceman. Uh, you'd be five points under then, but um, that wouldn't be bad. If there are a bunch of yeah. Colossals, you could always have Bishop and uh, Jubilee to uh, give your whole team shape change against yes, them. that is true. But yep, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like this. A lot of mm. options. Mm. So 50 points, Modern Age. Uh, you could uh, swap out to... Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I was going to say Fire Belly, but he's built a herd of mutants. Um, yeah, I just really wanted to say Fire Belly is terrible at some point on this recording. So Fire Belly... He's not we terrible. terrible. He's terrible. I don't think you use um, Cypher. I think you use Dark Phoenix. There's common... But that puts you five points like under. Yeah, but weren't we at 55? No. Were we swapping we're, with 55 we're 60, points? 60. So Cy Cypher, Cypher and Professor X is 60. So if you go to Dark Phoenix, you're only 55. So that, uh, that, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so you've got to go 35 to max out. That also puts this team where you don't have to worry about equips and you're a little bit less hate hateful against Secret Six, too. Sure. Um, yeah, I mean that seems solid. Um, I think I think for me that is solid enough that we can talk about another version of the team that Alex was talking about there. So Alex, what's what's the team? 20... Off by five points? Don't tell me I'm off by five points. <laughs> All right, so whatever. So my thought is, I just need 290 points of X Men. That's all I really want. Um... <laughs> Why? How many how many pieces do you need? Five. Okay. So, so uh, my main my main force, Professor X, yeah, the freaking Hood, Titana, okay, Namor, and Black Panther. This, oh, this equals three hundred. This is, is, is three hundred points Illuminati. All right. Is this oh, the, actually, actually, is... ditch ditch Black Panther, uh, Medusa. That way, if I wanted to switch into like a maggot, uh. Alpha Strike team, she's like the queen of Alpha Strike, so uh -huh. you could just do her did with the leadership and all that. Did you their optional traits? I did, and that's why I need <laughs> 290 points of X-Men, because you lose 10 points, because all right, so these the, guys are worth 5 points less. And I am not doing Gauntlet with the Hood. Alright, so the Hood... I'm uh, doing a gem. The Hood, Titania, and what else? Namor at 60. Yeah. Or fifty, sorry, Namor at fifty. Namor, and, what? Uh, no, hold on. Namor's not fifty. Yeah, he is. Namor's, the chase. The oh, the chase from uh, Captain America. Which gems are you getting with this? Uh, Titana's only power. Power, which is, right? which is no big deal. I'll take yep. power. Um, Hood is any of them that you want. Are those the only two with the trait? So he says he starts the game. Well, which is is that at that's when does start the game start with beginning of game? Uh, oh, oh, that it's may gotta not, be that may not work. No. Uh, yeah, I gotta. Yeah, huh? That. No, no, it works because Doom starts the game, and that works. DJ Doom starts the game with time platform and it drops. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Because you place them on the map. Um, yeah, you place them on the map. So, so what was the when last the character one? The starts hood, the game. The hood. Titanium, Wait, hold on, hold on. Namor. This is. Hold on. Starts the game for anyone who's confused. Some game effects trigger when a character starts the game. This occurs when a character is first added to the map, which could be during game setup from outside the game from the sideline or swap in for another character. So when they are placed on the map, before beginning a game happens, that's when they start the game and that's when they're equipped with the gem. I just want to say, I like how we look this up. and It all seems to have answers, right? It's very clear answers you just have to figure them out eventually yeah, well it's super helpful that they made like an annotated yeah rule book for me the, to just the rule say book is good i think way better so anyway i i just did this, this is 300 points you don't have any objects or anything well, outside 290, of this right? 290 no that this team is 300 because uh, you pay five points oh for, i gotcha yeah, but they are only worth five points less so gotcha yeah so you're swapping out oh i see what you're saying so you pay five points for the hood pay five points for titania uh, your equips are in the square of the character. Yes, because you replace. The gems do not KO. They drop. So this is one of those, if you're worried about 
your object be pretty stolen. easy, right? Because there's a lot of 60 points. Um... Yeah, well, when we started looking at Illuminati, I was like, oh, well, this is going to be difficult. It's not that difficult. Now, you do have to build your whole team as Illuminati to really make this work. You could go less with the hood um, because the hood is 85, uh, 95 points. So if you wanted to go less, you could. If no, that... like if if you wanted to keep Professor X on the team is what so I'm I saying. So I just threw this so you have Wolverine, Kate Pride, Mimic, Weapon Hex, Dark Phoenix is 290. Yep. And That's then... exactly the one I have. <laughs> you get Power uh, Gem on Wolverine, you get like Reality on Kate or something like that. Yeah. And it's first turn equip and move. They're all in reality. Anyway. You get TK and Perplex and then Mimic also gets TK and Perplex. You get double. Yep. The, the main reason you would want to play something like this is if you're worried, of, like, you would still be subject to Secret Six stuff, but if you're really worried about someone just yanking your objects or just taking them, um, like, DJ you Doom still also, could. But... Against, it's, it does help against Secret Six a little little bit because you can equip without breaking first turn immunity so they can't shoot, shoot you turn one. Mm -hmm. And you can have the characters you're going to equip further back in your starting area have a row of characters in front of them. Ooh. So that you can way equip they two characters with two actions. That's exciting. True. Right, That's yeah. such a big tempo advantage. That is yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. So, so it, it's so something to keep it, so, something to keep in mind. So just for just for one one more time, who are you swapping mm -hmm. out to? So what does your new team look like? Any X Men team that's two hundred ninety points. So well, yeah, we, but, we well, counted yeah, well, a second ago. We counted. Yep. This was a taxi close range Wolverine type team, which was common Wolverine, okay. which we have here. Yes. So common Wolverine, K Pride, yes. Dark Phoenix, yes. Always need a retail. Uh, Weapon Hex. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Mimic, normal Mimic. No. No, 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 not normal mimic. mimic. Sixty point Prime Mimic. Sorry. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm gonna add. And one, you want to... I'm gonna add one quick wrinkle for you. Mm hmm As I think this is relatively important. Well, what's your Doctor Thing backup? Uh, it depends on what he takes out, I guess. Okay. I would have. Let's just say he takes. So out your so dark... so. All right, so Tyler, if we were going Phoenix. Uh, if he's taking out my Dark Phoenix, I'd have to, I'd have another thirty point figure on my sideline, I guess. So you know, we discover that you can just have two Dark Phoenixes, and he's just dark, and he, that guy just sucks. Yeah. So, um, welcome to the segue to that conversation. <laughs> okay. Um, so, as far as I'm aware, um, and this works yeah, for it, like uh, Sue Storm. It should form, definitely work. Form the Fantastic Four. You can include two of any figure on your sideline if you're worried about Doctor Thing, uh, as long as the effect allows you to. So, in this aspect, the Professor X says that they have to be swapped for different names. Um. And so do all the other ones. Um, yeah. They said they have to be swapped for different effects, but there's nothing that says you can't include them. You can include multiple of the same ones for this effect. Because they have to be on your sideline for a reason. Um, you just can't use them for the effect, right, the same. I agree with that. Um, this team does take up, if you include a Dark Phoenix, it would be six sidelines, um, which is a lot. And then another wrinkle here is that, like, I think the doctor thing can still screw you because like if he says you can't switch out Kate pride then or switch in Kate pride, then now you're, you can't really switch out without playing severely under belt because the only other option would be the other dark Phoenix. Oh, you can't even bring in the other dark Phoenix. So at that point you, you can't switch out at all because you don't have five valid figures. Right. You, well, you could switch out like three, four, you could switch out four. Figures. Right. So that's why I'm, thinking maybe in this particular team like when but you could no you could you could build to prevent that like you, like think you, can. you would just be down points like down pointed figures 
Yeah. Like, if you played this sideline and he even said, I'm taking away Cape Pride, you could still... Oh, I see what you're saying. You'd have to pick a different... You couldn't play two Dark Phoenixes. You would just have a different 30-point figure. You'd have to play, figure. You'd have to play like... You'd have to take up seven sideline spots, right? Well, no. What you'd probably do at that point is keep, like, Medusa or whoever else is on the, the main floor, right? And just switch out four. Is there a 60-point character on your team? Or somebody that's five points... Sorry, this math is hard. If we decided to keep Professor X and then only switch out four... Man, this is so, math is so that hard. wouldn't work, right? So you ha your your key touch points are two ninety, two sixty five, or no, 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 no. You're doing it. It's much easier to just say, you know, if if he let's say hypothetically takes away Cape Pride, you now have sixty five points of your original build that can stay there. So there's fifty point pieces on there. I don't know if there's a sixty point piece. No. Um, but you probably just keep like Medusa or Namor on your team at that point. Right. Probably so, not Namor because he has. Then, well, no, Namor. Then, yeah. But then you're looking at. You'd be 15 points under. But then, but then that's your, but that's your key touch point of can you, how close can you get to 240? So then, do you counter that by having a piece that is around Kate's point value? You. Yeah, it would be another. You probably the best way to counter would be another sixty point piece and Dark Phoenix, I like two Dark Phoenixes. Well, no, at that you point see, you can't bring in a second Dark Phoenix. No, but you have to have two in case he says you can't bring one in. Right. But at that point, you're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sideline pieces. So yeah, you, you would include like two Wolverines probably, and then if he says you can't use Cape Pride, you would bring in the other Wolverine, which is up to Wolverine right. instead. Now, ha only having two super friends... The problem is, is that the only reason we're worried about sideline space is that super friends are still really freaking good. Mm -hmm. And having two is less. But I, most games, you do not bring in three or more. So most games it wouldn't affect, but it would affect some. Right, so in this case, right, let's say we're going up to the seven sidelines, right? So, like, mm -hmm. you, you would have to do, like... A, a second 60 point piece of some sort yeah some now, 60 you, point. now the good thing is is that i mean professor x isn't terrible i mean none of these are 100 percent terrible so you could just build the force and say i'm gonna keep medusa or keep professor x just right period. yeah you could just keep an alternative um point line, no, right I, you don't need to because no matter what he picks here you would you would just rather have a Wolverine? No, no I, I'm saying in general, like if you're concerned about sideline and you're like, I'm already having six people on my sideline, seven people on uh, my sideline. Sure. It's like, okay, well, let me just go down to needing four people to take out. Professor X isn't terrible for 25 points. He gives me the leadership that I need, and I'll just switch out these four out of the possibility of these seven or these six. If you just wanted to do six, you know, you, you it's really flexible. So. I think but that's key, much harder. It is much harder. It's a very much a cognitive part of the game, um, right? But, but you would. So that's what I'm saying, right? Is that your your key touch points there, right? How does your sideline add up to 290, 265, 240, right? And then and then being that 290 is five, 265 is. Four, I and then two... think you're doing the math backwards the well, hard way. So, um, welcome to how I made it through high school and college. <laughs> I um, You don't need to have four figures add up to those numbers. What you need to do is see well, which figure so you can't it's, bring it's, in. It's, it's price is right rules. You need to have four figures that can get as close to that point value without going over. No, no, no. no I'm saying that's... I think that's the wrong way to look at it because it just makes it more complicated than it needs to be. You don't need the, to worry about four-figure math. You need to worry about one-figure math. If he says you can't bring in a 60-point piece, you now have 60 points to, to build with for one figure to bring in, one additional figure to pick. 
It could be from your sideline having an extra Wolverine there. It could be leaving Medusa on the map having 50 points and playing down 10. But it's just it's way easier to do one figure math than four figure math. I, I mean, I get that, unless you're playing, you know, 5D chess. <laughs> it's, just, it's just harder. It doesn't make sense to do it that way. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just picturing, you know, people drawing out um, diagrams and lines and whatnot, mm -hmm. things, connecting things together. Um, I don't know. Like, I Does just... that Caveman Wolverine have X-Men? I don't know. Uh, uh, yes, I think so. He's a shit ton of points, though. He's ninety. He's not that many. Did yeah, and, and may, maybe the whole thing is just something different, right? Like, I get what you're trying to say there. No, he's, no, he's only 75. 70, 75. Just kidding. He might be better than Weapon X. Man, that sculpt is awful. Uh, but I'm looking I don't know at. But there's different. Like, I really wish. Like, I'm with you now, Dan. I really wish Emperor Gladiator wasn't a prime so we could play mimic and him right. because you could play this combo like if you're just looking at general combos illuminati wise i mean you professor x and hood equals to 120 which would give you gladiator and moira the free rally token moira which yeah. would be good for mimic but yeah but uh, then you're playing three bad illuminati pieces uh, I think no, you want to switch them all out. Maybe. There's other Illuminati pieces out there. Not all of them are bad. Oh, yeah, I mean, I think it's just the, I agree with that. the 50 point. I mean, Medusa's good. You definitely want to be able to switch out the hood and Titania every time. Yeah, uh, well, I'm not saying you oh, would the bring hood all these pieces. Okay, right? Eh, debatable. I remember him being okay. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I think you're... Maybe a little overzealous there. Oh no, I'm thinking of Rune. I liked Rune. Yeah, Rune. Yeah, that is more accurate. Um, but you know, you can also. It doesn't have to be X Men either, guys. You also have this possibility where you can include other figures from the other two keywords. Um, VR and Illuminati. Yeah, so you can also. Well, yeah, that's what I was trying to do with Emperor Gladiator. <laughs> right, you can also swap in like you know Reed Rich. Now you can't do Reed Richards Future of the Universe, uh, but you can bring in like that uh, badass Hulk, Cho Hulk, at forty. He's a nice little, he's a nice little point value there. I kind of like that. Wait, what's the keyword to see? Illuminati. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know. That. Yeah, it's so a little forty point outwit. Um. Um. Hulk, right? They can do a whole bunch of extra outwitting. Um, yeah, he's not awful. Yeah, he's not awful. He could be better. He's not awful. Um, there are some other much worse options out there, but I mean, <laughs> uh, ABPI had a ton of good ones. Um, man, it would be fun if you could just have Sheriff Strange, but RIP, he's retiring. Um, I don't think he's that good anymore. I mean, another. You just got to look for different combos, like that. You could, there's one where it's just uh, Professor X, a hood, and then there's a twenty point Strange. But not Strange. Sorry, Fantastic, Mister Fantastic. Um, hey. that that you could switch to Emperor Gladiator, Dark Phoenix, and a uh, uh, what's his name, Multiple Man. I just feel like you're building it incorrectly and in that if you're ever building an Illuminati team, you have to you have to go in with the expectation that you're switching out the whole team because I don't think any of the pieces are right. good enough to stay. I, I think I don't I, and, and it's just one of those things, right? Where so I don't want to just I don't want to spend another 20 minutes here talking about the potential of Dr. Thing. Um but it is something to kind of think about, like maybe he becomes a thing because of these teams. So I think it's valid to think about, but maybe not overthink about. Yeah. yeah, sorry. What I was meaning by the ones I'm sharing is unique point costs is what I'm trying to show. Because right. after these three pieces, so uh, if I had a Mr. Fantastic, I'd have him. Um, let's just use Medusa. But say this would equal up to 140. And then 
that would translate to we'll say Emperor Vulcan is gladiator and then we have wherever he is this so I now have 150 points of Illuminati and X-Men to switch which is super easy to do because there's a lot of stuff there's two 75 point Illuminati's and I assume there's a decent amount of 75 point X-Men out there like 75 point weapon hex Dupool, Emma Frost Moira like there's a there's a lot of actually there's Wolverine if I don't have any uh Fantastic Four. Four. Yeah, so that's, that's kind of a bummer. But I, I, I'm just saying that there's... You can switch to that other Wolverine you were talking about. The Caveman one. Mm-hmm. Is what I look for when I'm trying to build is, a, okay, if I want these specific figures, and they've got weird point values, like anything with a 5 in it is a little bit of a weird point value, because it's harder to find another 5, necessarily. 75, 55, 45. Because they're a little harder to work with and to f- do the math to switch out. I try to find different packages where I'm probably not leaving the other two Illuminatis, sure. But I'm just looking at this equals 140 points. And I know what 140 I could switch them to. I so feel like that- you're limiting yourself there. And that you're basically splitting into two math problems <clears throat> instead of one so maybe it's just how i'm thinking or my mind but to me i I feel like with fantastic four people have been doing this incorrectly and that ever at the start of every game they're trying to build a team that is good against the opponent i don't think that's the strength of this i think it's the other things that we're doing where like you're just you know more or less what you're switching out every every game and there might be a, a slight variation but you you more or less know the team that you're going to play. I think that's better. So like as an example, that that X Men team I liked the the one that you you started with the um, Illuminati, you switched out to that that solid X Men team, and then there was a little bit of variance in that you could bring in a bishop if you needed to, as an example. Right, you and, could and bring I in think a bishop. That, of... uh, yeah, so I think the math problem gets harder just in general, right? It's just because of Doctor Thing. Right. Yeah, but not, um, so no I just looks, don't care about Doctor. So, I've so, never seen him play. So like, well, Al yeah. Tyler. I mean, Alex did it to you, right? At one time. Um, did he? Yeah. With in the. I don't think I did it to Tyler. The Chicago. I don't think the Chicago that. event. That I did it to Nate. Nate yeah, was the one Nate. that mattered. Right. So. You know, it, it's just something to think about. So Tyler, I agree completely with what you're saying. Right, like I agree, the Illuminati team that we just talked about should become the X Men team that we talked about. Mm-hmm. Right, like I've, that's just that's just your go to. Right, that's your thing. Mm-hmm. Right, you map out who's going to go to where. Right, point value wise. Right, like we've got to talk about that. Yeah. Um, you know, wow, I just thought about this bringing in Dark Phoenix. Uh huh. You know how we, you know, so at the beginning of this thing. We talked about, um, you know, Dark Phoenix may not be 30 points, right? She might be worth 50 Uh because of the replacement thing. You have to think about where you place your figures on the map so Dark Phoenix doesn't violate the rule of occupancy. True. That's another thing for me. Like, it's probably just how I'm thinking about it, but... I <laughs> I can't practice 50 teams. I I want when I practice I want to know what I'm going to play. I want to have a plan for my turn 1, my turn 2. This is probably how I play because other people play reactive and I don't. Um but to me, I to practice like what you're saying, Dan. Uh, my first two turns are are mapped out in my head. I have to know what I'm doing. Right, but I I'm can't just really thinking, do but that. I'm just thinking this part of what you're thinking of, right? If you're always yeah, if, you, if you're always bringing in Dark Phoenix and let's say yeah you i have to know where i'm gonna place you have to always remember to place professor x at the Mm -hmm. edge right because otherwise you can't swap out uh yeah if there's no room to swap you couldn't swap right because you can't activate a non-optional effect that violates the rule of occupancy and dark phoenix violates the rules of occupancy by being a two by two yeah now uh, one thing i want to add in there based off of what tyler said Uh to counter argument that a little bit i agree um, to the extent extent of 
if you're a person who has to have a lot of practice or prefers to have a lot of practice with one team, like what Tyler is saying, um, then yes, you should do it that way. Um, I think in order to do it efficiently where you are able to pick against opponent teams, you have to go in with the expectation that you have to spend a lot more time preparing the different. So don't, it, it's a higher level of play to that, be able to say, I'm going to have this team, this, this Illuminati team here, and I have six packages I could possibly switch to. Mm -hmm. Like that's, you have to prepare each individual six package, like each six as if it was a main force team. So you have to know the ins and outs of it to play it efficiently. So yes, <laughs> I completely agree with what Tyler was saying. Like it's generally, you're going to stick with one team or what's, you know, okay, this time I'm not playing this 60 point Wolverine. I'm playing this 60 point Wolverine, you know, or whatever with slight, slight changes. Doesn't mean you can't do that. So don't get discouraged if you're adamant that you want to do that, because I do think being able to have a Swiss army knife for multiple teams gives you a lot more options. It gives you a less hard countered mm -hmm. um, just from a number standpoint, like right. probability wise, if you're able to bring in four variants, then statistically you should ha be much right. harder to hard counter. The problem is, is the, difficulty of playing all four different teams means you have to spend a lot more time on it and you're most likely going to fail because you haven't spent that much time as you would on one single team so that's that's what i want to say is like don't take tyler's word to say oh i should never try to attempt this right. if you want to go for two variants go for three variants sure just know that you're going to have to exponentially uh, practice to make sure I... you have all three at a okay i have level. two things i want to say real quick um one is i kind of agree with what you're saying but i know <laughs> i am not good enough to do that on the fly and right. i would i would argue that it's it's between 95 percent and a hundred percent of hero Arctic's players are not good enough to do that on the fly i so, i am not convinced that anyone could do that effectively so you're going oh is that a challenge yeah yes. so a little yes. bit a little bit of a challenge right so I mean, I concur with Tyler for probably different reasons, right? So I, I think that if I was to expand on that, there's probably only about three Heroclix players that I can think of that would be able to play that effectively. Um, now, I will say, I will say real quick, to do this great feat that we're talking about that not many people can, you're oh. probably not doing it with, you're, you're not doing it with Illuminati. That's... There's not enough pieces, I think, to get that many variants. I think you're better off having a solid X-Men team and then right. switching out the pieces of X-Men to other pieces of right. X-Men. Yeah. Illuminati is just a little too difficult to. But now, have what I would say, things. what I will say, is Mimic getting access, Wolverine getting access to close combat expert. And then Mimic getting access to range combat expert, close combat expert, perplex and TK. She plus all their other powers. Plus <laughs> yeah. everything he's already got. She prob. She exploit. She, he's already got exploit. Um, precision. Precision strike. Like side blast, precision strike, range combat expert, all working together at eight range. She. <laughs> Uh, yeah. but it, this... no, he, he, uh, wait a minute, that doesn't work, does it? Because it's displayed. Yeah. Oh, display. true. Ah, never, yeah, never mind. mind. All right, whatever. Uh, uh, so maybe is the other one maybe... displayed? I know the first one was displayed. Yeah, they're, they're both, both yeah, they're both, both displayed. displayed. Yeah, never okay. mind. All that right. doesn't work. Then. Never, never mind. mind. Uh, whatever. He still gets some stuff though. He gets um, some cool stuff. Prob, exploit, and precision strike are good enough. Yeah. Um, we already have exploit. I will also say I'm probably biased because I. <laughs> The way I view here are clicks philosophy. I there's question teams and answer teams. I always play question teams where I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move up. I'm gonna ask my opponent to deal with it, right? Other people, um, I always think of Scott Crampton as a good example. They play answer teams. They're not coming at you. They're gonna sit there and they're gonna figure out what you're doing and they're gonna try to build a team that can counter anything that they do. And I think that 
that's probably the philosophy that I'm getting wrong to where I want to set team because it asks the question, but you want to just switch out. So because I, you want and, and I think I think I play that sort of team as well. So I think, probably, the, I think yeah. the problem that you're running into, Tyler, is people are able to answer your question more often than they used to be able to. I don't think so. Like, you guys are both you guys are both Smash Mouth players. Like you play what does that mean? I don't know what you, what uh, mean. you guys are all stars. No, um <laughs> uh like bas- basically you guys play what you want to play, what you feel like is a, a built team, and you use your own mental strategy generally to counter teams. Kind of like what you're saying. You don't specifically build your team to counter everything. Now that doesn't mean like you don't put on barrier or you don't put on little things. But you play what you feel like is a good team, good pieces, and you have a good strategy for. And if you go against a team that you are hard, hard countered on, oh, well, you're like, I'll try my best. But I understand that I could lose at roll off depending on what the team is. Very unlikely that'll happen, but you understand that. Whereas Scott Crampton teams or other like that uh, tries to avoid everything in their power to never be hard countered. Yeah. And just, I have an answer for everything. It may not be, it's like, I have a switch. I'm great at a lot of things, but not a specialized in one thing type of thing where it's like, I could do a lot of different things to keep That's me in true. every game, but it might be a lot harder for me to win those games. Whereas yeah, I'm for definitely you, a one trick pony. <laughs> yeah. Like, whereas for you, you are able to just like, if you don't hard counter me, I have a good chance of winning just period. Mm-hmm. Like just cause I know this team in and out. It's how I built it. But if it's a hard counter, okay, well, let's let's hope I get lucky or you get really unlucky or I win map. map. <laughs> yeah, so that that's how I, f- I feel about this. But I, I am not a Smash Mouth. I, I like to try to plan for a lot of different teams or have options. I played mm-hmm. the old, when we had IDs, I loved playing round table because I liked being able to... Mm-hmm. Very give up an ID, characters. yeah. Give up an ID to switch out one of my characters for another character. Um, I generally like that kind of mindset because I like having to. Doesn't mean I'm necessarily great at it, but I I generally like that. So, mm-hmm. but just just that. different philosophies, and that's why we work so well. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, I agree with that. And I don't think my way is correct for everyone, but it's definitely right for me. Right. Yeah. Oh, I, and I don't so maybe think... I'm overlooking it, but I still stand by right. 95 to 100 percent of. I, I think I think I think the thing is, Tyler. Yeah, I I I agree with you, right? Our methods are different, right? So my math, mm-hmm. my way to solve the math problem, and your way to solve the math problem, are both correct. We could both show our work to get to the answer. Mm-hmm. Some people just might want to do it either way, which is fine. Yeah, and then you, you guys are using Common Core math, and I'm using the rank method of math. No, uh, I, Common Core is. I, I'm just I, kidding. I, I That's always funny. I can, I can guarantee you I'm not using Common Core math. <laughs> I'm using the uh, I'm using uh, learned on the farm math of. Well, if you cut it once. Oh. I, I, can I ask you guys this real yeah. quick? I'm so sorry. Yeah. It's like, not related to anything. If you, <laughs> I just. It's it it's cool how people's minds work. If I were to ask you how to get fifteen percent of eighty, how would you do that in your head? I don't need the answer. Just how would you uh, 10, try to figure that out? Ten and five. Ten percent is eight. Five percent is four. Four. Yeah. Yeah. Well, is that I, you would do that. And, and then specifically, I would go well. Ten percent of eight of eighty of eight. Ten percent is eight, and then half of that, half of half of ten is five. Mm-hmm. So it's for yeah because you can't just figure out five percent it'd right. be ten percent half yeah. yeah yeah i would either do that method or whatever that thing i see on facebook every so often like 15 percent of 80 is what 80 percent of of 50 that's so cool 50. that that works yeah it's so weird okay never mind that's just people will answer that very differently and it's very interesting yeah I always, but if, if I you were to ask me to give you an answer like like that i would do the 10% and then add half of that and yeah. this is way faster. I do 10% on most of my percentages. Yeah. Cuz that's just way easier. Mm-hmm. 70% 10% times 7. Yep. <laughs> Super easy. <laughs> the, so it's the same way I buy my cryptocurrency. 
So, uh, but it, so, that when so it gets, yeah, so that when it gets to a penny, I know how much my math is. <laughs> now, so I came up with Illuminati. Uh, there's no Shi'ar, right? We said that before, but uh, now that we've got, there is Shi'ar, just not like the great. We got twenty percent, uh, twenty percent, twenty points, forty points, the thirty only points, thing... thirty-five. The... The problem is you can build a Shi'ar team that adds up to thirty to, to three hundred points, but it's the same with the Illuminati. You would want to switch almost all of it out, except for maybe like two pieces in the whole, whole meta, and they're both primes. Um, so you're probably, and they don't give you the items for free, which this team does. So you probably are always going to build this team and then switch to Illuminati or Shi'ar pieces. Yeah, anymore. yeah, that's fair. Yeah, because Ember curious. Vulcan also does have a fifty-point line, so you, you might it might be that you play him instead of uh, Mimic if you like him better, and then you'd have a a seventy-point piece instead of a sixty-point piece. So maybe you switch out for uh, Chase A, right? Chase A and um, Ember Vulcan instead of Wolverine and uh, Mimic. That could be. There's a lot of options. I All agree. right, so it's just let's uh oh go ahead. It's Adam. very exciting. My brain is pumping. Um, yep. I was gonna say, are we ready to wrap a bow on this uh four <laughs> four and a half hour video? Which is I think so. I I hope people want to listen to this because it's well, I would, it, but right? that's because I'm talking, right? Yeah, I mean, I, oh, true, they do get to watch it. They do get to watch it, right? Um, and I'll post this, you know, it's just at the end of the video, so this will be recommended to watch on a PC screen. Um, but um, yeah, uh, final. Let's just do final thoughts and wrap up. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're supposed to pick the one of us. Yes, <laughs> I guess so, Alex. I can't wait for our tier maker. Yeah, tier maker's gonna be good. Me too. Tyler, final thoughts. Uh, I'm very pumped about building again, probably because I have an event coming up. Uh, but this has helped a lot, getting my juices flowing. I'm also very excited for our set review because I think a lot of people are wrong about some of these pieces. Yeah, and the tier maker as well. Yep, set reviews coming soon. Tier makers coming after that. So, thanks everybody for will... thanks everybody for watching. I'll oh, go ahead, Alex. Oh no, I was just gonna say it's really hard to not build with rise and fall stuff now yeah <laughs> it's really difficult to be like hey i have an event before rise and fall well my brain can <laughs> just not go there right now at all i'm just yeah. knee deep in hellfire and x-men so <laughs> i'm i'm knee deep in some invisible women so uh, Ooh. Th Ooh. <laughs> yeah don't go there um <laughs> th thanks everybody for spending the past four and a half hours of your life watching this video with us and uh Y'all have a great rest God of your bless day. You. Yeah, thank y'all. Please post feedback <laughs> on the Facebook group. Y'all have a good rest of your day. Yep, see ya.